Yes guys, we're here at the 2022 TTC Knockout event. It's live for the very first time ever. It's absolutely massive. All the players are here. Yeah! 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 Come on. It's gonna be huge, let's go. As this is the biggest match of your professional career. Oh. Oh. Charlie! I'm born for this moment. Oh my god, that is wild card. That was the speediest open up I've ever seen. We need to study it. Charlie! Oh! oh! You're kidding me! This is <laughs> massive. <laughs> oh! Mike Tyson, if they look away first, they've already lost. Alright, as always in a TT knockout, we have a random draw. There's no seeds, which I know Captain always wants. We're going for the random, random draw, which is going to be crazy. So, who wants to go up first and pick a ball out? Everyone, all these balls have someone's name on. So if you pick it out, you go to the top of the draw, alright? Cher, do you want to go first? Go for it, yeah. Go on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, so nervous. Dane! Oh, 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 Give me the ringer for the third time! Oh, imagine! Uh, we just had that in the third time. Hat trick up for the ringer. Go on, B. Yeah. Who am I going to be playing? Come on, pick me! Don't want beast. Ringer! No! 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 Oh! Chair! Oh! Frog! 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 Who's gonna get the chair? Should I go this one? Yeah, I took one. Yeah, I took one. Go on! Frog! 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 Who we got? The captain and the beast. Oh. Oh. Yes. 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 yes! 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 Come on! Yes! Yes! Come on! That's so clever. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so, so there was the draw, guys. Let's head you over to Joe at the commentary brief. Yes, guys. This is massive. I'm Joe. I'm going to be your commentator today for the TTD Team Knockout 2022. We're absolutely buzzing here at TTD, and we hope you are as well. Wherever you are in the world, a massive thank you for joining us today. I guess, first off, let's, let's run through the format and get that nailed, right? Eight players, straight to knockouts, no messing about. Each match is best of five sets. Games are up to 11, juice as normal. Absolutely brutal. We're expecting big points. We're expecting some drama, some laughs. You can see the guys are already absolutely flying. So you saw the draw there happening, live before your eyes. Let us know in the comments, what is the most exciting quarterfinal there? I mean, immediately, you can't look anywhere other than Pocket Rocket and Dane. That is gonna be absolute fireworks. We know what the Pocket brings to the table. Those big shots, those big bombs. Dane, so much feeling. He's gonna be off the back of the court just lobbing away that's going to be a big one we then move on to the founder versus the ringer you saw the ttd open uh, a few weeks back the founder finally getting that big win he got over the hurdle against the ringer sometimes uh, we see a lot of comments saying that the draws rigged you saw it there it's live these things just happen chairman and the frog can the chairman do the absolute unthinkable and knock out tom the frog we're going to have to see that clump and the bluff is going to have to be on full force. And then another big one, Captain versus the Beast. The battle of the two big forehands. We know what Cap brings to the table. He's got that big whip. 
Beast just so clean off the bounce, takes everything so early and hits the ball so hard. It's going to be a great four games. Let's see. Like I say, shout us out in the comments. Share us on social media and we'll reshare. Let us know. Are you excited for these matches? We're going to uh, look to get some guest commentators as well into here. Uh, just waiting to find out who's going to be first in the booth with me to work through with Pocket Rocket and Dane. But yes, you can see the boys getting excited, ready for the warm-up. This is going to be a big one. The Dane as well. It's worth noticing uh, he's a last-minute addition to this draw. It was going to be the gaffer. And then, as you guys all saw, the videos went out on social media. The buzz started getting there. And the Dane dropped a little text down to the founder to say, you know what, my tournament has just been cancelled. I am ready to go. He jumped on a flight. He got in last night. Chairman went and picked him up at the airport. I think chair got back at 3 a.m. It's going to be fantastic, this. But that's it. Everyone wants to get in there. Everyone wants to win this. You get the bragging rights for the entire year. This is going to be a big one. We want to see these warm-ups here, see how the guys are starting. And I'm also very very happy to say that Dan's just joined me in the commentary booth. Let's go, Joe. What are you thinking about that draw? That uh, is absolute madness, isn't it? It's insane. I mean, we would literally say, surely, like, I won't play Ringo again. Yep. And then Tom's like, oh my God, I might get Cherry again. And then, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Beast and Beast Beast Captain. Beast and it's Captain. crazy. Three in a row, the same. I was saying before that, that often you, you hear like, oh, the draw's rigged. It really isn't rigged. <laughs> no, it's not. It's it hasn't just happened once. This is like the third time <laughs> these have happened. No, it's so epic. It's so it's epic. Really fantastic. And, uh, oh my God, Pocket versus Dane, match one. Like, this is like, this is stuff you can't write. Like, this is what a way to kick it off. Look at the head-to-head -head there. Pocket. Obviously, 15 years the senior, he's got a lot, lot more experience than the Dane, who's only 20. Head-to-head -head wins. This is the first time these two have played. Who knows what's going to happen here? You know, Pocket has been training so hard lately, and he's <laughs> in good form. Obviously, Dane is the Dane. You know what? Dane's going to bring class, all right, and, and, and quality. But Pocket is buzzing. I think we're just going to see fireworks. And I, I, I wouldn't say, yeah, I would say anyone can win this out of these two. I, I agree. Honestly. Yeah. We know what Pocket's gonna come, he's gonna come with fire. He's gonna be hitting those backhands from everywhere. And the Dane is just, he's so relaxed in there. It's almost like a, a meeting of two forces. Mm. Pocket brings that real intensity. And Dane's so laid back. I, this is a fascinating one to kick us off. One couldn't 100%. have asked for a better match. It's, it's, just, it's epic, it's epic. So here we go, firing up the backhands. Look at Junior editor down there. It's all Fantastic. interesting as well. You can feel like the intensity in the room, right? Everyone's happy and smiling and everyone's joking. And then all of a sudden it goes quiet and everyone starts to focus. Mm. Now it's intense. Like, yeah, it's put a lot of laughter. You know, you know what happened? You know, one minute countdown? Yeah. You obviously, we all saw that. We, our hearts were pumping when that started. Before then, we're all just like, <laughs> hey, here we go. <laughs> it is. It is. Everyone wants to win. It's going to be big. You've got the beast. You've got Tom the Frog. You've got these two on the table as well. It's going to be huge. I mean, look. Usually we highlight these matches, right? We we, we, we we release it a few months later after editing it, and, yeah. and that's great, and people love it. But people are always like, oh, I want to see it live. Like, this is crazy. Like, every single point. There's there's no hiding here. Exactly, exactly. It, who knows what's going to happen? Who's going <laughs> to... The, the, the added pressure that comes in with playing live as well. I know. Like you say, they get loose. They can hit those big shots. We can we can edit out some of the points, you know, where serves mm. go in the net. It's a whole different atmosphere now. It's live. It's epic. Three two, me boy. Okay, Tom, match prediction. Ah, oh, so tough to call. I, I don't even know if I can give a score prediction, but I think we're going to see fireworks. We're going to see some crazy shots. It could be, it could be one for the highlight reel, one for the real core fans, I think. But yeah. Okay, Scott. Match prediction? No, it's gone. Sorry. Beast, match prediction? You've already given me one. Head. Mm. Three one day, I reckon. Okay. Captain, what do you reckon? I think three two game. Okay. The boys are just warming up. Party back to the studio. So look at this. I'm <laughs> What a setup. And the chair on score as well, the first man, he's always up there. Chairman always takes the hit you on the score. You can see the, the guys are split as well. Nobody knows what's gonna happen here. You can think even before they're giving their answers, they're all I'm in an R in. Nobody knows what what's gonna happen here. Exactly what I was saying here, like very, very difficult to tell here. Also, you know, first time they're playing, getting mm. a feel for it and yeah. It's gonna be big. This is why we're here. This is why we wanted to do it live. This is why we wanted to get all these guys in the hall together find out who's gonna who's gonna get those bragging rights. 
Loving the comments coming through as well. Tons coming through. Let us know, guys, who you think is going to win this match. I've seen a couple of comments here. We've got Brazil. We've got India, Pakistan. It's, it's great. And that's, it's very 50-50 in the comments on people who are their favouring mm. as well. It is, which is very interesting. I've just seen one there, Chairman in Clutch, and that could not sum it up better. He's going to have to hit the ground running. He really is going to have to pull out. But that's what's great, that you know he's going to give 110% on that exactly court. Yeah. He's such a grafter out there. We've got a comment saying we want to see Dane versus Beast, and I Oof. agree. Dane's got to get through this very tough task first, though, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, Pocket wants to win a TT team knockout. Yeah. Like, he lives for this all year round, he trains for this. And here we are. Ha, ha, ha. So he's serving. It's huge. Two lefts to start us off. You can feel the tension in the room, look. backhand up the line yeah. I like it though positive looking to attack this is actually key early on in the early set right you just still want to just go just go for the shots get some confidence Got to play your full strokes just hit two top edges there but we know pockets backhands when it's on fire you'll find it yes. great that was a great touch the ball move That's really it. What we said about before, you know, Pocket's going to swing. Dane is very loose, likes to take that step off the table and just yeah. control. He's there. so good at holding the ball. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's unbelievable. He can just hold the play. It doesn't matter who's coming at him. That's good. Dane off to a quick start here, 4 0 up. Let's see what the Pocket can bring. Couple of lets to kick us off. Pocket frustrated with that. So it was a little bit drifty. Very clever. You can see Dane trying to predict where that ball's going. The interesting to see if Pocket starts to possibly throw in a couple of long serves or serving short to the forehand. Spinny's positive there, though. Again, you can't write the Pocket Rocket off. Momentum is so key. Once he gets on a roll, he really gets on a roll, as we've all seen. Cheeky long serve there. You can see Pocket wasn't ready for it. Just drifted long, though. But there you go. Straight back in the game. 3-5, two big serves now. And this is it, talking about Dane's tactics. He's good at holding, but then he's very good at recognizing when to then attack, and it really puts a pressure on his opponents. He's got the mix up. A bit like Tom in that way, actually. Mm. Here we go. See, Pocket does this thing, he starts winding up. Yes. And then you're all just like, uh oh. He takes, that's the thing, he takes a back step and he actually takes the ball really late. Yeah. It's, it works for him, he hits through the ball so quick. I, um, I think he's just so Karanga like, do you know what I mean? He is, he is. Big shout out to Karanga. <laughs> A little over eagerness, maybe, but you can do that when you're eight three up. Mm, so it's happened a few times this match now where Dane's turning and just picking pockets half long serve. Pocket needs to have a bit more tight. Either, either, oh, it's the strawberry. Oh, pocket! That is what he brings to the table. You know what? Pocket does so much damage. I, I was reviewing the, fo the footage of it, right? And people tend to move Pocket to wide forehand, obviously knowing that his backhand's such a dangerous weapon, but he steps across and hits that backhand so clean. It's ridiculous. Oh, 
Oh, he's firing up now. I like it, yes. <laughs> you know, boys on the sideline, like, you can tell. Like, here we go. You know what? I've just seen the best comment as well saying two camera action uh, angles. This is better production than ITT. Oh. <laughs> this music to our ears. Look, you can see Dane's a very tricky server. Takes the first set there. Pocket, slow start. I think, I think it's always one of those things. We're going to yeah. throw it over to uh, the guys out on the floor now. Gets really uh, really tight first set there. It was, uh, I think, you know, both players were sort of still getting, getting going a bit. But um, yeah, the Dane obviously a bit more solid in that set. But Pocket did start to unleash those big backhands. So, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be more fireworks, I think. What do you reckon, Cap? Yeah, it's only going to get better from here. Good to see some fireworks early doors. Hopefully we'll see a few more, you know. Beast? There was a lot of big rallies, a few, a big backhand there by Pocket. I think also uh, Dame was getting in a lot of half longs, also, and he was taking advantage of the points. Good stuff. The ring is enjoying himself. Yeah. The boys are loving it down here. Yes. I'll pass it back to the commentary booth. Here we go. Pocket to kick us off. Oh, no, it's not. It's Dame to kick us off, of course. Pocket with those two uh, that serves early on. Let's see. Pocket again, trying to put his foot on the gas and attacking early, which is the right tactic. It's just possibly starting to give it a little too much. Be interesting. territory here. Oh, that's an early donkey. Are we going to see the donkey in the court? <laughs> I think the guys are being very kind. No, no, listen, you know what happens sometimes when you're on the sideline? When you see the match is intense, yes. you're very cautious of going, hmm, we better not put the donkey exactly, in. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know what, that, again, a long serve from Pocket there, but that is the right tactic. He's just fired in a long serve and it's mm. only just missed, but that is definitely right to stop the Dane walking straight in and touching short. Oh, that's world class. Yeah, it, the footwork there. See, the thing is, this is what I'm saying with the Dane. Like, you're not sure if he's going to hold the first one or counter. So Pocket's been a bit cautious, and then boom. Oh, that's quality, in it? Dane is so sharp. His serves. You can see Pocket struggling with the serves. Serve deception, so key. Mm. I always feel like with the Dane, he kind of he's very aware of like what the next ball is going to be. Nice. Yeah, the Dane is uh, his fundamentals are very good, which means he can almost sit in a neutral position after he plays the point. He can sit in that ready position, ready to play a forehand or a backhand. So, whilst pocket switching, that's why it's often so difficult for the Dane. Uh, oh, also so difficult for pocket to really know where to hit. Here we go, six two up. Dane's starting to really get loose here. Hits the backhand spin up, steps around the corner and then plays the forehand down the line. I feel like Pocket could do with a switch of tactics now out to the wide forehand. That's three or four times that, that, that Dane stepped around that backhand. And I understand that Pocket's strength is backhand to backhand, but you can see Dane is the first one to switch now. So I think from Pocket's point of view, start to target that wide forehand, start to target that short to the forehand, then pin the backhand and then possibly go back out to the forehand. That's a better one, straight down the middle. And again, another one at the hip. See how close that was there, Dane. But that's better. Don't go straight into that backhand. Pin it to the hip, pin it to the crossover, or pin it to wide forehand. Get on long serve. Clips on that to receive. That's a big point. Oh, it's a big counter from pocket. It's nice. Just a little towel break here. Obviously, uh, for those new to table tennis, you can take a towel break every six points. Let's see what the Dane does here. Again, it's a good receive from Pocket. He's got in, he's taken the opportunity, but it's a trap. He's played it back to middle table. Dane's already stepped and hit it back. Pocket needs to start either keeping those very wide backhand or down the line. That's better. That's the one. We called it and he's so aware. He's tactically very, very smart and he recognised it then. He needs to stop playing back to that middle table. Beautiful. Saw that, that that's 
that, that first spin up from pocket was so low over the net. Dane just dropped his level and took it straight off the top. Good serve. Again, a right serve though, going long. <laughs> getting loose here pocket having to go for those big wind up shots let's throw it down now so we've got uh, the editor down on the floor again the Dane's pulling out all sorts of uh, bags of magic tricks here the wizard Danish wizard um, pocket's struggling to get that momentum you know like get his game going but um, you know table tennis is a sport where anything can change very quickly so pocket's just got to hang on to that hope of changing the game around getting his getting his self moving a bit quicker a bit more energy you know mm -hmm. What do you reckon, Peace? Peace. Dane's on fire at the moment. He's, he's slinging everything. He's playing really well. But let's see. Maybe Pocket can try to change the momentum, try to change something. In and, he's, and he's chucking a needle. Yep. Mix up the game. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Okay, we're into the third set here. Pocket needing to find something, some kind of momentum changer. Yeah, again, Pocket is a real confidence player. He can get a few shots together. You can see it's the right serve though. Keep him to short forehand, then you can actually pin that backhand. Dane has to move his feet very quickly. Like it, change of tactics. And then he's in. You can see if you don't just play into that backhand corner, Dane can't just control from there. Let's force him, serve short to the forehand, force him to move those feet back out. It's better tactics from pocket. Oh, that's oh. nice. I'd Angles. <laughs> it might have been a slight edge, but the, the intention was definitely there to fade. I don't know if Pocket's got uh, got an earpiece in and he can hear us, Dan, but we were saying <laughs> he needs to pin that wide forehand and he's starting to do it. Yeah, it's getting it's getting Dane back from the table, isn't it? Dane's, you're right, Dane's very good in that. Oh, was that a net and an edge? So that was a chairman clump. He touched, yeah, it touched. Such a fine margin game. Did you see recently NASA said table tennis is the hardest sport in the world? Did, yes. I couldn't agree with it. You don't need to study for that. I'll just tell them it's the hardest <laughs> sport in the world. <laughs> so many variables. It's so quick. Yeah. Hard to disagree, isn't it? And again, a couple of lets. They're just difficult. They hold the momentum. Oh. White line lobbing. Oh. Oh. That's a great point. Dane was doing a bit of Michael Mays. He was. Pocket really spraying the ball around as well. It's amazing to see actually how, how much Pocket's improved at smashing since those early games with Moses. Oh, know? yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 That's wild class. What can you do? So you see, like the backhand to backhand exchange. It's fantastic. Here we go. I mean, <laughs> if you look at what Pocket's done, he's done exactly the right thing. Yeah, he's yeah. Bang in the backhands. He's hit the punch. He's changed the pace on it. And then Dane just picks the line. It's just too good there. That's class. Oh. Dane's starting to get loose now. Pocket's starting to feel it though. He's, he's again, his hit zones. He's going to wide four and he's going yeah. to wide back, and that makes a much, much bigger difference. Pocket needs a bit of that, a bit of table time, you know, just get some, here we go, bit of, bit of luck here and there, they misses a few, get into it, now he's 6-3 up. And here we go, momentum starting to switch around, Pocket doing well. Getting the right attack. Dane just so creative. I mean, you, you spin that, it's absolutely loaded, fizz into the forehand, and he chop blocks it back. We're getting lots of calls for where's the gaffer. Oh, don't you worry, guys. He's out the back. He's actually, instead of managing the team, he's managing the production unit because he is the best manager at TTD. He is here. He's seeing all the comments. We'll have to bring him in the stream in a minute. We will do. We'll get him in the commentary booth. Send him some love. It's a better serve, though. Again, if you keep... 
for Dane Short. He's very, very good at that touch game. Arguably better than Pocket there. So actually, let's just level the playing field and serve long at him. Oh, it's a donkey. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Next live stream, we're going to have a, uh, a graphic that comes across. A donkey. But there the it is. The Dane taking it in good jest. I guess you can do when you're 2-0 up, but definite donkey. It doesn't matter who you are. Everyone hits donkeys. Oh. 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 That's, quality. That's, that's a great point. Again, you just have to give two or three points to the Dane a, uh, a set where he's just going to do something completely unpredictable. Snake. Oh! That is exactly what we thought this match was going to give us. You can see a massive, massive point. Dane away from the table hits that big counter. It's huge. This is why we wanted to see these two throw down. Pocket doing everything right, you can see he's almost ejected. Because what can you do at that point? You hit massive points into the forehand, into the backhand, and all of a sudden Dane just takes a back step and, and counters like a rocket. It's almost like playing it like you do when you're playing a forehand out there, right? Mm. But he's slinging it with the backhand, and he just wait for it and just went for it. And you just got to go for it, and that's what he's like. Confident. Yes, exactly that. Exactly that. It's Big point now when we come back there. 9-8, uh, sorry. Yeah, Pocket needs this. Time, yeah. I think, you know what, I think we may see a big show if he can get this set on the oh, yeah. start, start building that momentum back. But much better though, like we said, starting to pin that wide forehand, all of a sudden it's less predictable. It's oh, good hands from the Dane. Soft on the first one, increasing the pace and pushing him wide forehand. Almost the perfect touch. You can see the margins. Didn't that bounce on the net and then roll across? That's so the close. Margins, that was almost beautiful in pocket. The correct tactics. A match point, Dane. Oh. oh! What a first match. The Dane takes it in control. He's just so classy. And like you say, it's so difficult to know when he's... When he's in control, when he counters. So let's throw it down now. We've got... Oh, we're actually going to come to us, Dan. What do you think? Great game. Quality. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to play the Dane. No, no he's, he's tricky. He's tricky. He's a tricky customer. He's got so much variation with his serves. Mm. And you can see also, like, when he's playing backhand on the line, his forehand turns. It's unbelievable. He, he, he almost waits for you to commit to a yep. shot, to step that corner and play it. And then he just takes that line. Thank you very much. Nice it's, class act. It's very, very difficult. Look what we got here. Chairman's in the building. Come on, chair. Come on, say hello to the users. Look, here he is. Hello. Are you doing enjoying it? You've got to get your head in there. Have a look on the screen. Here we go. Oh, it's coming. He's coming. Sorry, guys. We're trying to get the Zimmer frame around the corner. Here he is. Zimmer frame. How are we feeling, chair? Tom the Frog. You need to do the impossible. You are fighting Tyson Fury at Wembley in front of 90,000. I've just got to go for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Chair, everyone knows, everyone watching the lad knows that you always give 120%. That's all I got then. That's all I got. <laughs> we need the bluff. We need the uh, the top spin, no spin, back spin, back yeah. end. That's what yeah. we need. Yeah. A couple Let's of clumps. I think, it, it, in terms of what you bring to the table though, that unpredictability can actually be really dangerous against, you know, you think how many times Tom and Dan have played, they, they mm. pretty much know what's coming, right? With you, there's that whole area no of idea unpredictability. Yeah. We, we live in hope. So. <laughs> I think the comments are going to light up with support for you. Let's hope so. <laughs> Next match on then. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Good luck. luck. Is, it, is it me now? Is yeah. it me? Yeah. You and uh, me and uh, uh, Ringer. Ring and Ringer. Oh, let's you go. Want, you want the Dane in here? Let's go. Let's get the Dane in here. Why not? So, as we just heard, Dan and the Ringer coming up. You can see that next round. Founder and the ringer.
They're next up. Winner of that. It doesn't get any easier, does it? They play the Dane. Then after that, we've got Chairman and Tom. And then Captain and the Beast. They are going to be some big semi-finals, but we've still got some big quarterfinals to get through. Founder and Ringer, obviously, we all saw on the Open. We've known it for a little while. Obviously, these videos are a little bit delayed when they come out to you because they need to be edited and whatnot. The Founder's been playing ridiculously well. You've seen all the videos with Francisca working on that backhand. It really comes to fruition. Got the win over the Ringer. Can he repeat it? I think we're going to throw over now to the editor who's on the floor with the players for some feedback. Okay, Dane. Dane, massive first match. Well yeah. played, took out the pocket. Thank you. How do you feel, man? Uh, I feel great. It was a, a good match. I feel like a lot of good rallies, uh, big shots, um, everything you would expect uh, in a match like this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with my performance. Into the semi finals. Yeah. Um, yeah, just gonna uh, wait to, until I find out who I'm playing and then uh, I'll take it from there. Okay, well, next we match. the winner of this one, hey? Yeah, next match on we got the Ringer, Ringer and the Founder, another rematch. Predictions, Beast, who do you think is going to win that one this time? Normally, the Ringer always gets a. I think in head to head, Ringer for sure is, is a, the favourite, but I don't know, Dan's been practicing also. I was, I was doing multiple with him the other day and he Speaking was really sharp. Speaking of devil. Sharp. So, we'll Beast was feeding me. Our multiple is fantastic. What's good? You're a good feeder. Yeah, we're going to have to see if you can do it under the lights. TTD pressure is real, so. <laughs> it's for the legacy then, remember? The legacy. Pocket. Unlucky, mate. Caught, uh, Tough the game, Dame's man. in some good form there, mate. He's a good player, man. He's a good player. Uh, I had a bad start. Uh, it took me a while to get going, but he's very strong. Um, my serve was really annoying me. I had a lot of let serves there. So he's, he's played a bit on my mind, trying to get, trying to get a serve right. But yeah, he was, uh, had a good chance in the third game. I was 9-6 up. But he, he pulled out some great, great shots, uh, that backhand there. I whipped it to his backhand, he whipped it back. Yeah. I did a forehand and then 9-8, I did a forehand, open up, and then I whipped it to his backhand, he punched it down the line. This is, uh, it's not something that I expect. <laughs> there's, there's no easy matches in this knockout, is there, Tom? The problem. And my concern is that people watching on the live stream might just switch off now because Pocket Rocket's out <laughs> and he's everyone's favourite except the chairman yeah. of course but yeah no it was a great match Pocket just yeah struggled to get going I think and then it would have been very very tight I think he'd have started well but. yeah if I had that third game I think maybe give him a, 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 be, a better challenge would have yeah. been a different yeah. game then for sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay guys big match now Ringer and the founder I'll pass you back to the commentators look at this we've got the head to heads Next up, Founder and the Ringer. You can see Dan 33, the Ringer. There's a lot of question marks. And the reason being, he is the ultimate unknown entity. No one knows how old he is. No one knows his highest national ranking. No one knows his top level ability. Sometimes he plays like a local leaguer. Sometimes he plays like he's in the Bundesliga. We really do not know what is going to hit us here. I know I saw the Ringer doing multiple the other day and he looked very, very sharp. You see, head-to-head -head wins, they played three times. Ringer has the advantage, 2-1. to one. That one was the famous one you saw in the Open uh, the other day. Dan's highest national ranking, just breaking into the top 50 in the men's. We then have the previous knockout result from last year. Dan making it to the quarterfinals. Ringer making it to the semis. Years played. Dan has played 23. Ringer, nobody knows. And if we can actually get the, uh, the camera on the commentary booth, I'll show you who's joining me. He's come on in. Here he is, the Dane, fresh off the victory. Yeah. What are we thinking? How big a match was that? It was a, it's a big match. Obviously, we, we both uh, like to play those long rallies. Yes, um, some of them were spectacular. We were saying in, in the commentary booth how calm and relaxed you were just to hold, and then all of a sudden, you'd predict where it was going, and then bang, yeah. and, and, and over. Yeah. I mean, it was impressive. Did it help him having all those lets early on? Because I know that, that momentum's often such a such a key factor and if someone at the other end of the table keeps getting those lets keeps getting almost like visibly frustrated with it did that help kind of keep you on a keep you on a on a, on a straight path forward was it or, or it doesn't no, it matter it doesn't at matter because i feel like i could be in that situation and, yes. it, and it wouldn't touch me because it's just you know i was thinking if the net was too high maybe because yeah because it's very unusual that yeah. there's so many lets in uh <laughs> lets in a game but i don't think i've ever ever played a game with uh, this many lets <laughs> Uh, I, no, it was a good match. You were so calm as well when celebrating. I think if I hit one of those counter backhands, the, the comments absolutely lit up. Yeah. If I hit one of the, uh, my top would have been off. 
Probably my shorts as well. I'd have been running around the hall. That would have been me. Yeah. Done. Oh, no, I was, uh, I was tired because obviously we just had a lot of long rallies. Yes. So, uh, what, what's, uh, what time did you get in to, to England last night? Um, I arrived in uh, the airport at like, I have no idea, maybe local <laughs> time around... Uh, 11 or no, to, to, uh, to midnight. Yes. And then uh, I had a three hour drive. So. Yes. Well, it's good to have you here. Everyone. Uh, it's good to be here. Everyone certainly loves you. Look, there's a lot of love in the comments as well. But yes, what do you think on this next uh, next matchup? We've got Founder in the Ringer. Well, I tell you what, actually, before, before we do that, I think we've got the editor down there with some uh, feedback with the guys who are live on the floor. Okay, Tom. I'm just finishing my sandwich, but... Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> That's all good. Beast. Yeah. Who's going to win this one? Founder or Ringer? Ringer. I don't know. I'm, I think... Ringer's going to take it, I think. Yeah. I would oh. say 3-1. 3-1, Ringer? 3-2. 3-2, Ringer. I think... Final I don't answer? Know, but three two. Yeah, three final two. answer. I think... I think it's a very much a psychological battle this game. Yeah. I think and my money's actually on Founder today. I think he's developed his game a lot the last few months. He's been working hard. I'm going to back him. Can you back your son or the yeah, ringer? I am, yeah. Because, uh, he wants it so much because he's never won a knockout match in the three years he's been doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I've, I've faith and belief in the boy and he's been yeah, training hard. Yeah. Okay. That guy's loving it over there with the scores. Captain's relaxing before his match. Keep him warm. It's a big one, boys. We're loving it down here. Pass you back to the booth. <laughs> so you can hear there, uh, Chair saying that he fancies Dan today. Dan's actually never, ever got a win in a knockout tournament here. He's been hosting the thing, but actually, the guys down there, they were pretty split, but I think there was a slight feeling that Dan has, has got over that mental hurdle of not being able to beat the ringer and got it out of the way. I mean, I've been watching them train a lot recently and just, Dan's improved a lot. As everyone said, they've now worked it out. He's Patrick Franziska's protege with that backhand. Yeah. The big backhand. Played a bit with him uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. I feel like he'd improved a lot since I last played with him, with, 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 which was uh, the sure. junior, the junior. Uh, of the course, junior yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm also looking forward. I actually don't know who's, I think it's gonna be a close match. Mm. It wouldn't surprise me if it uh, ends in the fifth set, but. Yes, we'll yeah. See. We'll see if uh, Dan has the, has the nerves. I agree with you, Dan. Headband's gonna go on. He needs to move his feet well. I think possibly mix up the pace as well. Some slow, some fast, and then the counters into different spaces. Just be a little bit unpredictable. Yeah. Again, the king of unpredictability, the ringer. Let's see. Just getting ready here. It's going to be interesting. The ringer's got an Under Armour top as well. I thought he was sporting the long-armed TTD new kit there. <laughs> In shop soon. Let's see then. A little bit of a delay. Dan obviously heavy in the production side of things. I don't think he realised he was on next despite... Uh, Despite putting it all on. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Then just, just, you see then just checking if the knit is the right yeah. height, just because of the, the match before. Mm. It's going to be interesting. Again, ring on one of those players, very similar to you, where he can hold and block very well, and then all of a sudden just squats slightly and counters with those balls. It's going to be very interesting. Is that some Danish going on in the chat there, Ashley Dane? Yeah. Is that, is that message safe to read out on, on air? <laughs> she just wants me to win. Ah, there you go. You could ring her straight away, nose down, wants the backhand and goes to the crossover point. Oh, that's a good the big yeah, switch. The turning around. Yeah, the early pivot from Dan. Interestingly, he always says that's something that He's trying to get out of his game, but obviously recognises the need that you need to do it every so often. Yeah, it's good for variation. It's very mm. important in a game like this and a player like uh, like the ringer. Very safe, very all round. He's good when he knows what's yes. coming. Yes. If you switch up, it could be uh, it could be the difference between losing and winning. Very even start here, two two. It's a 
good touch by Dan, but only just deflecting it back. Good hands. Dan may be a little bit tight. Yeah, but it'll probably loosen up mm. once the match has started and he starts to feel a little comfortable. Yeah. As you can see, the heavy spin there, down the line. Yeah. And that's the thing, if you can be unpredictable, it always makes it more difficult, right? Yeah, exactly. See how much that ball kicked. Takes him on this way oh. Oh. The ringer. The Polish trying to do the Danish there. <laughs> This is even uh, sounded top edgy it was, he apologises. This is how brutal the uh, knockout tournament is as well. You lose and then you have to umpire. Yeah. <laughs> it's so tough. So it's the gaffer forcing the, the players. Trying everything not to lose. Because <laughs> no one wants to umpire. <laughs> oh, oh I shot by the ring. There's a lot staying in that backhand corner right now. Yeah. There we go. Again, the variation with Dan. So from his forehand this time, just to just to switch up a little. Yeah. That stayed so low. Very low. You can see Cap and 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 uh, the Beast on the sidelines mimicking that backhand block. Just saying, I think. Uh, to Dan where he's tried to step and play the forehand off that actually just to hold it with good hands Ringer had committed himself so much to wide forehand That's a good block You can feel the, you can feel the tension yeah. between those It's going to be very interesting to go down with the editor at, at, after the first set to find out people's thoughts Yeah. Oh, well, that's that's why you don't want to commit every yeah, time exactly. right? Yeah. You, th you, you think from Dan's side that he's doing the right thing and stepping in and applying yeah. pressure, but it's just a trap. Yeah. Ringer ready for it, plays him down the line. Yeah, he doesn't get all the way around, so mm. his body his body is not in the right, right position. That's a good backhand yes. down the line. Seven, eight. See, crucial point here. Yeah. Ringer just taking the time. He's on the back foot. Yeah, oh, that's very good. Good combinations there by yeah. Dan. He played one to the elbow as well. One yeah. to that, that, that crossover point. Forces the weak block and then steps. Exactly. And once, he's, and once uh, the ringer gets away from the table, just keeping it to the backhand. Mm. Oh. 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 That's a big point. Again, you can see Dan just a little bit eager to... Yeah. I think reverting back to his old ways and pivoting that corner, stepping around and trying to play it, but not getting all the way around, like you said. Actually, maybe he'd be better just holding that backhand, holding his ground. Yeah. We've seen it's all improved. Oh, but that's the right thing to do. Ben watch Dan sees the half long there and goes for the attack. Mm. Eight ten, two big serves needed. Keep the ring around. Question there on what Dan's equipment is. I'll be able to give you that information in a second. Let's just let this first set go down. There we go. That's what Dan I think needs to do is hold that backhand. Yeah. That backhand's good enough. It certainly is now. Yeah. Make Francisca proud. <laughs> Obviously, very important, uh, important time in the, in the yeah. first set here. First set is always very important. Oh. Open that's a place down to the middle. You see, Jan, Jan, Jan wants to go for the kickback, mm. but it's very hard for him in the middle because he expected it in the backhand. It's almost Dan took all the pace off and just really revved it with spin. Ten ten. Goes for the hard one there. Oh. Ooh, good recovery by the ringer there. Mm. Ten eleven. You can feel the tension. Again, everyone's friends, everyone has played with each other a lot, but everyone yeah. wants to win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Once you step on that court, you're not friends. It's yeah. <laughs> great positioning from the ringer, just playing it back to the back. Let's throw it down, we've got the editor on the sidelines here. 
that. Big first set that. Yes. Both guys playing well. Yeah, it's close. Uh, Wasn't a lot in that one, was there? One or two points. Uh, Ring is up for this. Dan, yeah, Dan yeah. took him out in the open. Yeah. He's ready for revenge. Oh yeah. East. Yeah, it was, a clo it was a 50-50 set. I think in the end, Ringer just got the better of Dan. Also, I don't know. There's tight. a lot. Yeah. It's a tight, tight match. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can really feel it on the live stream, obviously, but you know the, the tension in the room here really is palpable. You know, you can cut with a knife. It's it's something special to watch. And uh, these guys are going at it. Guys are ready now for the second set. I pass you back to the commentator. Nice. Okay. That was fantastic. And not necessarily the players, but the frog there. Did you hear the use of the word palpable? The man has been looking at the thesaurus in prep of being on camera, and that's why he's the ultimate professional. There we go down. Mixing up now. Spin to the forehand. Also a very crucial game now. Mm. Yeah, you don't want to find yourself 2-0 down and have to... Have to find back three sets. Because then there's just one bad start and then you're, yeah. it's, you're pretty much out. And then good again there from Dan, just standing and believing mm. in his backhand. Opens up, not forcing any easy mistakes there. And again. Oh, little flick of the net there, but again, I don't... Dan's backhand's good enough to hit two on the bounce. Let's see, I, I think it's uh, you know how you get nervous and then you revert back to yeah, your, your yeah, natural your way of playing, yeah. yeah. I think that may be a bit of a case there. Oh, that's good. Oh. That shot can you see more about in the master class coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we needed an advert to come off on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a forehand. A good angle on that forehand as well. Mm, really good. You could see it from this angle as well. The perfect yeah. time to cut to that camera. How cold is it there? It's a very good point. So it is chilly. Um, obviously, we're in England. So I think the, uh, the temperature is right near, near freezing, maybe just above. Um, obviously, you can see it's a very, very big room. It gets chilly quick. Go back in there right now. Back in there, damn. You can see he's just waiting for the... For the long surf to his backhand, yeah. because that's what that's what Ringo won most of his points in the first set. Dan stepping around, and then again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. See again, Dan committing to his backhand. Mm. It actually works out. It's very good, and that was in the open video that came out. Obviously, we all saw it live, but it, when he commits to that backhand, it's gold. It's yeah. very very good. Hey. He's getting warmed up now. The ringer didn't really expect that to come back, but found that stayed strong, stayed close to the table. 6-3. Now the easy mistakes are coming yeah. from uh, the ringer. Momentum swinging, huh? See if then uses his backhand on the serve again. Oh, the back. oh, oh hits the, the edge. edge. Yeah, hits the oh, edge. Wow. Just the perfect link. Yeah. Water back in there, man. Well, the founder. Can see he's more, more, much more relaxed now. Mm. I think it's the tension, isn't it? Obviously, this yeah. is big. For, for Dan, probably more than, than all of us, obviously, TTD being largely his baby. But yeah, he wants to come out. He wants to put on a good show, obviously, for everyone. But... It, it's a very high level we're having to play against. Right idea. So it's 8-5 and the found on the serve. He's on the back foot. Oh. Much better from down there. See, you can see the ring a bit frustrated mm. with the easy mistakes coming in. Believes he can do better than that. It's good to heavy. And very far out mm. on the table. Oh. 
And there you see two quick points coming in from Yen, just the same serve twice working out for him, even though Dan has had a good back in the set. But Dan's on the serve now, yeah. so he can decide how the points are starting. Interesting to see where Ringer plays this too, where Yan. Yeah. Does he go back to the backhand? Does he go to middle? Does he potentially go wide forehand? Let's go backhand. backhand. Open up backhand. And it gets a bit, gets a bit too, too stiff in the hand there, mm. putting in a bit out. Yeah, just maybe miss, uh, misreading the amount of uh, spin on that ball. Oh, oh, the spin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the ringer hits the hardest backhand of, of yeah. all of his uh, attempts in this set. Yes. Actually, <laughs> works out when you're 10 7 down. Yes, you can be loose, right, and go yeah. through the ball. Yeah, you feel nice and loose on it. He's eight. Uh, he's ten eight down, but he's got the serve now. So if he if, if he does the same as before, mm. it's two quick points. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I See think Dan is expecting the, the long serve. Properly. Yeah, to the backhand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Again, they. I almost feel like Jan is is wanting Dan to pivot. He's yeah. putting that ball not wide backhand, in just into middle backhand. Yeah, and very slow, so Dan yeah. has to step around. Actually, not any power. So Dan is forced to step around because yeah. he feels like he has the time, and then gets. Just a, just just long. Step round, spin to the back end. Oh, oh one. Okay. <sighs> Can't be point. The ringer has completed the comeback. Mm. It's now ten all. We're in juice again. Shows you how good his service game is as well. That that those last four points on his serve, he picked up. He picked up all of them. Even under pressure. And now Dan's probably feeling the pressure. Mm. See. see if he pivots. <laughs> Can see the ringer there, frust fr frustrated again. <laughs> Feels Fake like smile he on his face. Yeah. He knows that was a missed opportunity. Yeah. It's one of those you have to hit when you're induced. Cause, yeah, because that could be the difference between the set or winning the set or losing the set. <laughs> see where this serve goes. Does it go long to the backhand? Oh. oh. Committed. He gave it the 360. It's well very intense. It. Very intense. <laughs> you can see the comments saying Dan to the final. <laughs> we'll see about that. Also, ballet, yeah, with the ringer doing his uh, spinning. That was a very good forehand from, uh, from ringer. Yeah. Coming in, playing the short one. Coming you can out. see Dan trying to stay positive even mm. though he... He's probably feeling like, oh, he should have closed this set at 10 7. <laughs> oh, he's done it again. It's very good. Jan's Maybe. to really, uh, really pin that backhand. Let's throw it down. We've got the editor again. Let's get some, uh, get some feedback from the team. Good set. Have a good set. A bit of a robbery there from the ringer. Came from behind. Um, Yes, great tennis, but it's all about juices, you know, and it's, that's table tennis, it's about what you do at the end of the set, not about the beginning of the set. Ring yeah. got a 2 0 lead, Tom. Spot on, like, like Captain said, I mean, it looked for all the world like Fano was going to level up the game there, and Ringer's just, just stuck in there and just clawed his way in and managed to rob that set really and get a 2 0 lead. But I still think, you know, fine margins, the game can turn quickly, so let's see. Beast. Even though it's 2 0 to Ringer, it's such a 50 50 game. I think every set's been close. Yeah, I, I think that if Dan really fights, he can come back and win this for sure. Back to you guys for the third set. Let's go. Okay, Ringer then coming back from the death to take that second set. Let's see, does he stick with the long serve to the back end? No, changes it up. Clever. Dan desperate to play the back end there. If he's going to pull this back, he's going to have to do it the hard way. And that's what I said earlier. <coughs> if you go down two sets, one bad start, and you're pretty much out. That's a good opening. Mm. Heavy spin. Yeah. Slightly slower. Really, really revved up the spin. <laughs> Ring is Forehand counter is so good, isn't it? Yeah. You almost need to predict it. If you're going to spin it up, it's yeah. going to come back and it's going to come back fast. Recover quick. Yeah. yeah. Tactical 
from the serve. Oh! This is slow. Oh. Very good hands from Dan. Change of tactic on the serve though from, from Ringer. Starting to go short into middle, short into forehand. So yeah, I mean, they've had two very close sets, mm. so it's, it's, it's very hard to say if it's good or bad to switch up the tactic. I mean, he's... Oh. Oh, he's on the back foot. <laughs> But it's very, it's very hard to say if it's good or bad to switch up the tactic because obviously he leads 2-0, so yeah. you would think it's bad <laughs> to switch the tactic up, but it's been two sets that has been induced, so yeah, yeah. could have gone either way. It's worked so far, right? Don't If it's not broke, don't, don't fix it. there. Ringer getting that spin on the ball. He's got very good hands as a ringer. Mm, that's a good forehand because they then really commits mm. and plays through the ball instead of just trying to keep it on the table. And It was a good change of pace, wasn't yeah, exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. Because if, if he decided to just step around and just play it like half committed, yeah. the ringer would have punished him. I can see someone asking me where I'm playing uh, my league matches, uh, my league table tennis. I play in uh, Denmark, where I'm from, in the highest league, which is called Board Tennis League, in, which directly translates to uh, the Table Tennis League. Ah. So, <laughs> yeah. What club do you play for? Uh, I play for a club named uh, Hilogod, mm. where I've played for the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much my entire career. Oh, that's a good thing. Yes. And you can see now he's pulled back, pulled the comeback. Come back. Back. Yeah, so that was nice. Short serve to, to forehand and then spin up heavy to the backhand. At least if Ringer's going to get it on, he has to move those feet a lot. And you can see Dan commits there, just goes long. It's the right idea. It's a match of uh, small margins. This was the position Dan was in last set, remember, and, and, and Ringer came back. Dan just needs to stand his ground, hold that backhand. And I can see the same guy asking if I play against uh, Michael Mace. Uh, I was supposed to, but he was uh, sick oh. this uh, time. We played a few <laughs> times and uh, somehow, well, not somehow, it's no surprise, but I uh, I always lose close 3-1. Oh. So, uh, so very frustrating, but, but he is very good still, even though he... That he is a match. Play as much anymore. That is a match I would pay to see. The Dane <laughs> very, versus very the Dane. A lot of feeling in that yes. match. It's a, a lot of weird table tennis that <laughs> you don't see many other places. That is something. If you're saying someone's got feeling, that is the <laughs> ultimate compliment. <laughs> oh. See the two easy mistakes from down there. Mm, he's just. You could see he served and then immediately stepped left to take uh, the forehand. Oh. Again, you can see Ringer pumping the fist there. This is how much it means to them. They all want to win. They were, we're best of friends off the court, but on the court. You can see someone asking me how much I practice a week. And, uh, off the shirt. Off the shirt yeah. Dan being a gentleman there. And it's not as much anymore. I'm, uh, I'm on my way back. Uh, so it's like once or twice a week, maybe. It depends on the week. Sometimes I don't practice. Sometimes it's once or twice. Oh, it's oh, a big block. A big Again, block. Dan causing himself more issues by pivoting. And this five, ringer's just five, five points in a row by, yeah. the, by the ringer, I think. We said it, didn't we? The ringer's backhand, he, he's got such good feeling that if you don't fully commit to that pivot, he is going to punish you, as you said. There's someone saying about the temperature in the hall. Captain wrapped up. Captain's actually got the uh, the winter flu bug. Oh, oh it's too good. Too good to too good to end on. Very, very good. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, what a match by the way. There we go. I think I, 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 those two are so closely matched. You can yeah. see even the sets were very, very close. Dan up yeah. in, in two out of the three. Um, and the ringer's hands are just so good that if you yeah. commit one way or the other, right, he's going to punish you down, yeah, that, exactly. down that wrong line. 
And again, it's on the sc- if you just watch the the scorecard, it's gonna say three three yeah. to to the ringer. But if you actually watch, the it doesn't match, explain it. Then does it? could have won that three 0 yeah. as well. So I agree. I agree. Right, we've got we we uh, there were some people talking about your bat uh, yeah. and what equipment you use. You actually brought it in with us. Yes. Let's show the guys what what uh what you do the magic with. Yes. Um, I play with uh, the the Timo Ball ALC. Uh, very classic. A lot of players use the mm-hmm. Timo Ball, obviously. And then uh, I stick to uh, Tenergy O5 on both my forehand and my backhand. Uh, I know many players uh, switch to the Dignix when that yeah, came out. Yeah. But uh, I feel like uh, Tenergy is. Uh, is better for me and my game so mm-hmm. yeah lots of feeling yeah lots of feeling yeah how come you don't use any edging tape lots of players do but you, you um like well basically i just didn't have any ah so, <laughs> so we'll have to get you some maybe yeah. if you win i saw there's something just right just right here so let's see let's let's pull up the graphic then in the next uh draw the match up next are we going to see a christmas miracle can the chairman get past tom the frog it's gonna no. need. I would say that the miracle would be Frog to win against Chairman. Oh yes, that's. Chairman, <laughs> Chairman is probably the best player in the, in the hall. The Chairman, he brings that level of unpredictability, right? The things that uh, you would expect. Does. Yeah, it definitely does. You know, something that you or maybe uh, founder and ringer would do. Let's go. I think we've got the editor back out there with some uh, reactions. Let's chuck it over to him. Ringer, massive performance against the founder. Three 0 Got your revenge. Uh, it was 3-0, but as you see, it, it wasn't that easy. Uh, so much tension on that uh, every single moment. It's just you have to fight for it. Otherwise, it would be comp- completely opposite. So yeah. yeah, tough game as usual. We're done. Into the semis, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Massive. was a quick semi. Yeah. But um, yeah, really, 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 really tough game. So. Um, yeah, you you were down you were down a couple of times and came back, nicked a couple yeah, of sets that. there. I love that. I love that to be honest. Yeah, a little bit behind, just you know, still you know, sniff at your chance. So mm. um, yeah. like I said, every single ball yeah counts. So you know, once in the mistakes, you you losing the concentration and uh, you losing the game. So well played, mate. Well always, played. Always always focus. Yeah. Into the semis. That's it. Massive. Yeah. What do you Hello. reckon? Big match just then. Yeah. We won the last year. We'll see. Okay. No, I didn't give you a game. Found a <laughs> some raw emotions here, boys. Hmm? Real uh, raw emotions. Oh uh, yeah. You play well. You play well. I play. I play. I play. You counted. Yeah. yeah. You tactically had me. Yeah. Yeah. Next game on. Next game on. Boys, reactions from that one. Big, big performance Tactical from the ringer. Class from the ringer there. Very good. Let let Dan spin up, open up with a bit of spin. Just came in with a good punch or a four encounter. Yeah. And was it? And then Dan was on the back. That couldn't do much after. That was yeah. That was basically the tactic in it. Yeah. Push long. Go long. And push then long. Lay lay him open up. Play and then either counter or give it a hard. I think that's normally in table tennis. You say you should yeah. always get in first. And actually, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's not the best thing. Sometimes yeah. stay yeah. serve long. Just give it back. Just push it back and let them open. Um, sometimes you've got to go against the textbook. There we go. He did the job. Yeah. Right, next match on, the the chairman against the frog. I'm so cold. Ooh. There they are, boy. We're back. You can see there, like the, uh, the raw emotion. A lot of like Jan and, and Dan. Obviously, what we portray on, on the episodes is of smiles and and we're all good friends. But actually, these guys were win so bad that when they when they feel like they've had a poor performance. You know, it is, it is disappointing, and, and obviously we're, we're aware that this is live and in front of an audience and we want to put on a good show, but it just shows you guys that, that like we say, we, uh, we all want to win. So here you go, Dave. This is the tail of the tape. Yeah. You can see Chairman almost double the age. But that does mean double the experience. Yeah, I was going to say double the experience. I mean, it doesn't show in the head-to-head wins where <laughs> Frog is 2 two oh up, but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's, it's, a, it's an interesting matchup because they played with each other a few times, they, they know how each other plays, they're very good friends of the court, they're very, yeah, yeah. very, 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 like, funny people as well, they uh-huh. like to joke around. I think there's going to be some good rallies in this one. I think there's going to be some of Tom dropping back, Chairman taking the ball off the bounce. It's going to be very good. 100%. You can see highest national ranking Tom, been 11th in the men's, and Chairman 
He's in the top 100 of, of the vets. Previous knockout result, Tom obviously undefeated, undisputed. He is the frog, this is his pond. The chairman getting to the quarterfinals. Previously, before that, when he got his famous buy through. Years played, 60 years. That means he's been playing inside the womb because obviously anyone who's half decent at maths knows he's only 59 years old. <laughs> and Tom there playing for more than half his life, 19 years. Just goes to show Chairman's commitment. It does. And playing playing more, uh, more years than he's actually been alive. <laughs> Here we go. The Chairman's a, a very difficult player to, he's left-handed, he likes to take, as, as left-handers obviously are, they're very comfortable, more often not backhand yeah. against your forehand, yeah. he takes that so early, but he's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he can, if he can, you know, get a little, get a little good start here, or if Tom is actually just, uh, is Tom just going to crush you? Yes, I think what you may see, Tom just, like you say, if you go down, it's then difficult, I think you might see Tom put on the burners for the first set, just get comfortably ahead and then start to relax and we'll, maybe we'll get some exhibition points. You know what, Tom, the ultimate showman, the frog on his lily pad. We'll see. And again, the brutal nature of it, we're waiting for the umpire. You lose and then you've got an umpire, you've got to sit right next to the cup as well. Dan's coming in, he's just realised, he's heard me, he now knows he's got an umpire. It's the brutal nature of TTD. I don't, I don't want an umpire, but no, I've got an umpire for the legacy. He is. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh man, Ringer had me. Just had the tactics down, and we, I couldn't get out of it. We were, we, we told were, uh, them saying, yeah. We told them about how it was a, it was an even match, but, but maybe a bit too much pivoting. Bit. Maybe back to the, Aww. the old Dan. Do you know what? What did Francisca say? What backhand? Yeah. Francisca would say you got a backhand like four. You know when you miss a hammer, then your brain starts doing that thing. Yeah. That's what we said, it's live, everyone wants to play well, and then Dude, the yeah. pressure's big. The production's world class, and everyone's having a good time, so. <laughs> Here we go, Dan's now got to go and sit next to the trophy. He still hasn't broken the duck as well, he still hasn't won a match in knockout competition. Similar, similar to Dane's racket, actually. This is similar to Dane's racket. So this is Dan's, everyone obviously asking about equipment. Um, there's, there's a I'm gonna cut straight to the question here, Dane, can you see that bottom one? <laughs> Does the Dane have a girlfriend? Yes, he does. <laughs> Isn't that your girlfriend who's asking you? <laughs> she's it setting is. you up. Yeah, she, is. <laughs> she just wants everybody to know properly. <laughs> you better answer yes. But yes. Yeah, otherwise, I'll be probably <laughs> yeah, yeah. arrive at home. He does, and she's English. No. Um, <laughs> so, we got the Timo Bowl ALC. Tenergy 05 on the forehand for Dan, and then he uses Dignix 05 on the backhand. Likes to take that ball, obviously, nice and early, and, and take it. Are you still laughing at that? <laughs> yeah, he has a girlfriend. His pedal is, is his girlfriend. It's not, not, not anymore. It, it was when I, uh, when I started, but not as much anymore. There's a there's a there's a, a, a comment there. I really don't understand the obsession over pros equipment. It certainly won't help you since each person's game and budget are different. And that's that's exactly right, right? There's yeah. a lot of rubbers that are up yeah, very it's high true, level. and, and so what what fits your game, but it's exactly like, like personal preference, right? Yeah. But at the same time, there is obviously some yes. there is something that's different, yeah. So oh, now the match is done, yeah. It has. Oh, oh, the chair coming out of the gate. Oh, He's going to try and pin that wide forehand, maybe. That was a fade off the bounce. That's a nice Here forehand to start off the game. Oh. Oh. Net, lots of nets today. It's interesting. Chair taking a 2 0 lead. You can see the intensity already. Yeah. You know, we're we, trying to be a big court or he goes for a big one. <laughs> we like to joke and we like to laugh, but everyone who goes on that court wants to win. I'm using the cyber shape there, you can see with that cool design. Big heavy spin to the back. It's also very weird, this cyber shape. Mm. Have you used it? No, yeah, I'll try one of my friends just a few points, but okay. uh, I think I'm more of a, like a traditional player. I haven't tried yeah, the, yeah. the, 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 the colored rubbers as well. I like the idea and I like I like the innovation to try something. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. that's cool. Same yeah. with the colored rubbers, I like yeah. that. Emmons corner to offer tactics. He is, I think. Look, you can see him almost sat in the top right. The best friend to those two there. They are, are yes. Father and son. There you go, Tom. Dropping back. Backfoot. Lots of spin. Oh, oh, oh around, around the net, the net as net. well. Oh. You can see Chairman probably a bit frustrated. He did just kill it. Mm -hmm. And tries to play the wide angle. Frog is good in those positions. He moves his feet so well that you think you've got him. Oh, and then all of a sudden... Commentator's curse there. 
Because the Dane play another sport. I actually do. I play football as well. So, uh, oh. oh. Tell you what, the chairman has started well. Getting in nice and early, mixing the, uh, where he's putting the ball. Yeah, but, but Tom again, just very safe. Yeah. Good at getting the ball back at the table. Forcing oh. easy mistakes, you can see there as well. He's, he doesn't commit fully around, so he just decides to play no spin on the table. Mm. Oh, I thought yeah. that hit actually. <laughs> Four eight down. So it's actually an, a pretty equal start. This I know mm. Tom's leading eight five, but but I feel like the chairman's done pretty well actually. And eight six now, two good serves here. The, you know what? The chairman has very underrated serves. Very underrated. They come firing out of there, and they, they, that reverse is just. Butchered in spin. Yeah. He adjusts it very well. Went for it. You can see Dan's reaction. Yeah. He know what he wanted. Yeah. The lollipop serve will be coming out. Don't you worry. It will at some point. Big backhand. Yes. Um, That's what I mean. I, I, I thought we'd see it, like you say, because, because it's a bit of an unknown entity. We're live in here. Um, but let's throw it down actually, we've got the editor there, with reactions. Okay. I'm just down here boys, pocket rocket is coaching the chairman, his favourite. Spinner first, close first set. Let's get some inside knowledge here boys. Straight away, yeah, and then you go on the back foot, yeah, and then you can attack. But when you're attacking, clop it, instead of top spinning, he's just going to break it. Give it some flat shots. Yeah. So, but on the back end, if he spins it, bang, down yeah. the line. Good that, go immediately to the back end side. Okay. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. How's your boy doing? What have you told him? I've told him not to get into your rallies. Like, don't try and spin it, just keep the ball on. Uh, just try and go for his shots, like, on the back end. Clump it. Clump it on the forehand as well. Just clump it. That's it. That's it. That's the tactic. <laughs> back to you guys in the commentary booth. Clump it. Could not agree more. He needs to put on a red suit, grow a beard, and turn into Santa Clump. Bluff his way to this title. Oh. Big ball in there by yes. Tom. Yes. Really changed the pace, because that serve was dug with backspin, and Chairman's receive was good. Kept backspin on the ball, and Tom just went straight through the back of it. Yeah. Place it on the table. Be interesting to see if Chair tries a couple of drop shots as well once Tom starts to drop off. Yeah. Who am I supporting in the World Cup? Uh, I supported Denmark, but they went out in the group. <laughs> and now I support France. I hope France win. Oh, 2-2 two -two now. Yeah. Chairman getting two points in a row. Oh, big spin. Big spin from the chairman. That's two or three steps off the table as well. Oh, the backhand punch! Jan's getting the donkey yeah, ready. <laughs> you can see him also signalling to the catcher that he had the donkey ready. That was great, though. Tom playing into that backhand and chairman just punching. Oh, Tom giving it back to him. He's doing the chairman, you can see. Good. Should be careful he doesn't step in his towel actually. Seems like he's under. Very good point. If he goes for a short move. Oh. 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 Chairman did oh. It's a great point. Yeah, it is. Actually, the 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 only po the only uh, ball he was he was actually at the right position and he missed. That's very unfortunate. Yeah. Oh. Good forehand down yeah. the line by Tom. That's an aspect that. that Things underrated about Tom as well. People say he's very steady, but he does have those high, high-paced balls that he likes to take off the bounce. Oh, spin. You can see what the chairman wanted there. A lot of easy mistakes from the chairman. The last point. Mm. Again, another one. Eight four up the frog. So clever, mixing the pace, mixing the spin. Makes it very difficult. 
Sherry Wolves Hill. <laughs> that one was ambitious, to say the least. Even for Almost the caused a shoulder injury. <laughs> Get a serve again there, straight into mm. the middle. Spin is coming back, 9-7. Potential comeback, we've seen a lot of those re in, the, in the first two games. Shots on the serve is now though. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was a great serve. It looked like it was going long. You could see Chairman was getting ready to attack it and then realised it was going to double bounce and the table came in. Here we go, Tom in exhibition mode. There's a net. Oh, he goes up. He's oh! Oh, oh, oh no. potential donkey right there. He's <laughs> flying in. Tom leaping like a frog. Let's throw it down. Have we got the editor there? <laughs> Let's get some reaction down on the court. <laughs> okay. Tom's got a 2-0 lead over chair. He's playing well, the chair. He's, playing, he's doing all right, yeah. Got the big bluff. No one knows what's on it. Could be backspin, topspin, float. It's crazy. Like this. It's the best shot in tennis. tennis. <laughs> you got that in your arsenal, uh, ringer, that bluff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something unusual. And it's good to mix it up with the position back end, you know? It just frees your opponent, because you don't know what, what, what's coming, there's a backspin. <laughs> <laughs> We're loving it down here, guys. Tom's playing well. Pass you back to the studio. So we were just laughing then, weren't we, Dane? We saw yeah. a comment that said the chairman is playing very, very well for someone who is nearly three times the age of Tom. Tom's 31, and although chair sometimes <laughs> look like it, he is a 93. Right. I'd like to just <laughs> clarify <laughs> that. <Definitely> Chair <in. laughs> <Right. laughs> with the change of serve. Oh, good ah, spinning oh. off. Can see Frog again just gets it back yeah. and forcing all of the, the, the easy mistakes there. So good. Okay. Let's see if Tom starts to get very, very loose. Yeah, because that's what's, what tends to happen when you know, you can see another, he tries to go for a big ball there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you feel like you've got this situation under control. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you want to play a bit for the cameras, make some nice shots, but it can cost you deep in the end. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that's a good point. The chairman is 59, yeah, we see it in there. Looking great for 59. Moving great for 59. I yeah, can see someone asking if I've met Liam Pitchford and Noah. I well, I, I met him in oh. person when <gasps> my first time. Oh, what really? Oh, this is a big one. Oh, it's a potential. Oh, <laughs> um, I met him at a tournament, uh, like in person when I was in England back when I was very very young. But I haven't played him now. That's a great receive. And then Tom gets it back. See Tom a bit frustrated. He doesn't do better when he's on the back foot. Mm. He, usually he's quite good away from the table. Share away now. now. It's tri oh. oh, where's the drop shot? Oh, it's nearly come and hit us in the commentary booth. <laughs> but it was definitely the right shot to play. Yeah. Oh, oh. Good spin by the chairman. <laughs> Tom needed to do a pocket there, that's what he's saying. Go over the top of it. 4 5. You can see chairman is putting up a very good fight. He's not out of this. Again, again you see Tom going for the, for the big backhand. Mm. So now it's 5 all. the comment saying we need more lollipops <laughs> we'll see if he if he pick, if he decides to do that he normally does maybe not against tom this tom's under so much control someone asking who's your favorite player who's your favorite player who's my favorite player that is a very good question you know what my recent favorite player is trolls i love trolls i love the way yeah. he plays he plays flat off the bounce yeah me too very, very confident. I love it. Um, yeah. Other than that, 
Oh, what a flick. I'm a big fan of, of Gauzy as well. Yeah. Just the feeling. Yeah. Mine, mine not as, like, all time would be Chang Chi from China. Oh. I just loved his, like, attitude towards the game. Yeah. You know, him being a bit, li a little bit arrogant. Yeah, you know, yeah. But in recent time, it's Jules as well. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I've uh, met him a few times. He's a very great guy. Like, very, very great guy. J just in general, very sweet. He always wanted yeah. to play with him when I came to his club, even though he was uh, a lot better than me. Yeah. Match point so, yeah. here. Match point. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh, it was a let. We oh. got all excited. It's done again. Oh! oh. <laughs> I feel like almost just for the banter. Yeah. I, I, I feel like oh, Tom that? should give him the same serve. Uh, yeah. Just to see if he if he goes around the net as well. Yeah, he does. Ah, <laughs> uh, he goes over the net. Oh! Ah. Potential donkey. Ah. Oh! It's close, but now close. it's ten. Now it's ten nine. Yeah. Pressure is a funny so, thing. Yeah. Isn't it chairman's serve? No, it's not. Oh no, it's Tom's, isn't it? Oh. To give it back to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! oh the edge. Well played. Tom just too consistent. Yeah. Chairman put up a very good fight yeah, though. Yeah, definitely did. Definitely did. Very good fight. Let's throw down to Tom. Yeah, they are actually, yeah. Tough, tough out. Chairman, mm. great performance there, mate. You did the fans proud. How'd you feel? Yeah. Not great. What could I'm better? Not easy yeah, pulling tough. out the frog in yeah, it's tough. Match, He's a two-time champion for a reason, mate. Yeah. I feel like you've improved a lot, though. Like, you haven't been improving your game. Top spin in. It's good. Yeah. Frog into next round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's never easy against Chair. You don't get any... No, you don't get anything for free. Everyone knows that. Chairman's not going to just roll over and have his tummy tickled, you know? He's there for the fight. Brings his trowel and he gets these dodgy spins that we're all so aware of in the TTD teams, you know. You have to really be on your game. If you go in playing the chairman and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's the chairman, I'm gonna win, he will he will he will do a job on you. So yeah, hence why you have to be professional. And uh, yeah, let's see where it goes from here. Dan. Captain up next, first beast. Some crazy matches so it far. It is mate. epic, epic. Every lineup is great. That's what's really cool about this, I feel. You know, every every game is hard to predict who's gonna win as well. Um, I mean, look what we've got here, Beast and Captain. It kind of it's kind of goes down to who can handle the, ner the nerves and find their best game. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, definitely. Let's get some reactions from his coach of the day, the pocket. Yeah, obviously. I'm, I'm proud of him, man. I think he did really well. He did some, uh, some, some of the rallies were really good. I think in the rallies, Tom is obviously stronger. So that's uh, where he lost it, really. But decent scoreline, 11-7, 11-9. He did well, man. Good stuff. There you go. Proud of him. Big stuff. All right, guys. Big one coming up. It was fireworks last year. Let's pass you back to the boys in the commentary booth. There we go. Tom the Frog gets through against the chairman. Chairman putting up a, a, a great fight there. Captain and Beast up next. The whip. It's a very interesting matchup here because obviously... The captain's strength is that forehand. He's tactically very, very smart as well. You heard him talking earlier about some of the things that he thought Dan could have done differently against the ringer. But he's going to get that, that, that forehand in, that whip. See it there in, in, in the background. That goes straight into uh, the beast's backhand. I'm interesting to see if, if the captain starts to try and send that whip down the line, but we'll, we'll have to see. Lots of comments in there. I've seen about uh, Calderano and, and Gauzy controls as well. I know there's lots of things in the pipeline for TTD. Keep your eyes out. Yeah. Some big games so far. What do we think, guys, in the comments? Captain and Beast, how does this go down? And then we're straight. Make sure we fill these seats during the Fill them up. Dane, yeah. just yeah, come yeah. out of the commentary booth. Yeah. Enjoy that? Yeah, it was very fun. Loved seeing uh, how many yeah, people was in the chat the actually show, interacting. Um, like uh, over a thousand current viewers and most of them like very active. There's a lot of table tennis talk in the chat as well. So I enjoyed that, enjoyed reading it and uh, answering questions. So yeah. Great stuff. We'll send you back in there later on. He's Dan? A, he's a wizard. The wizard Harry. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Great to have everyone here. The whole team. Full team lineup. Yeah, now we've got a... Interesting matchup. Yeah, very interesting matchup. We've got two players with a very good forehand. Very good all-round all players, but the forehand is definitely their strength. So we'll see who will be able to, to use that the most to yeah. their advantage. If you, 
if you had to pick a player, who's who's gonna win? Do you reckon? It'll be close, but I think I think the beast is gonna take a three-one. Okay. Properly. I think Captain's yeah. gonna do something interesting here because Captain's doing the slow play. He's like chilling around, like, and he's just you know he might catch beast cold because Captain's very strong in the head. But yeah, tough, tough one. Big match, guys. Send you back. So there you go, the head-to-head. -head. Split on the floor as well. Captain, early stage of 30. Beast, 18. Head-to-head -head wins. They played once. Beast took it. Highest national ranking. Very, very close. Captain, 16th. Beast, 10th in the men's previous knockout result. Captain got to the quarters. Beast to the semis. Years played. Captain doubling up on the Beast's experience. I think it's very, very interesting you heard Dan say there that Captain's very strong in the head in the years. I think physically, Beast has the better skills. Mentally, it's hard to look past the captain. He's tactically very, very sound. And like I say, it'll just be interesting to see who starts to get the better of this match, who starts to really go after each other's forehands. It's going to be a good one. We're going to look to get someone else into the commentary booth. Let me just go and find them. Guys, guest commentary in the box. Here, Here he are. is. Here I am. The frog fresh off. How are we doing, guys? You had the banana skin matchup. I mean, yeah, I had it last year as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, I said to the, the camera guy out there, you know, it, it, chairman is the sort of player you can't just go on and be like, oh, you know, it's the chairman, I'm going to win. Because he'll just roll you over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, it looks ruthless, but you can't go easy on him. You can't mess about. This is it. That was good. I mean, he played well. It's tough. Like, this knockout event is such a unique thing. Like, you know, like, look at founder against ringer you know it's yeah these matchups are tough all of them are all of them can go either way really we know each other's game very well so yeah this is going to be a good one again a repeat of um last year mm. captain against beast and captain took him all the way to the wire so what do you think's likely to happen uh, i've got to say i think beast has been training hard in germany mm. you know captain said he's feeling a bit sluggish and so on so yeah, feel like okay. Beast could run away with it slightly. Let's throw this over to the editor out on the floor. Ooh, false alarm, the editor is not ready. You're going to stay with us, our beautiful faces. You can see, look at this powerful smashing. Beast is there. Oh, the captain needs to save those sort of edge balls for the match. Captain is so clever mentally. You can see he's still in his trousers and his hoodie. He's He's been, yeah. and we've had a couple of comments sort of saying, is he cold? Is it really cold in the hall? No, it's so clever from Captain. It's he's going to let the games. Beast get warmed up. Mm. And then Beast's like, you ready? And Captain's like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. And yeah. he takes his trousers off. He takes his hoodie off. He takes his time. <laughs> he gets in the Beast's head. You know, this is what the captain does. Yeah, and he's going to come out of the gates firing, I think. It's going to be interesting to see how often he sends that whip down the line. Yeah, I think he's got to. I think he's mm. got to have a chance. He's got to get the beast deep in the forehand. So, so like you said, playing that forehand whip down the line. Yeah. Beast is strong from that backhand middle area. Let's have a look at some of the comments here. Uh, top one, Frog, what equipment are you using? I know you've brought oh, your bat in. Do you uh, want to show the guys? Let me grab it. I've got my bat. It is the Cyber Shape, as you probably could see from the video already. <laughs> but yeah, Cyber Shape, DNA Pro Hard, both sides. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, a lot of people say, oh, isn't it heavy? And, but actually, this is 90 grams or 89 grams, and the blade I had before that I was using for a long time was like 93 grams. So actually, yeah. it's lighter than what I had before. And uh, yeah, I love it. I've been using it just over a year now, and yeah, it's amazing. I, I can't fault it. Yeah, yeah, and it, it comes with that that um, now it does sweet There's, spot, right? Yeah. So I mean, it's it's bigger. They also just I thought you were going to say they brought out a new version now where. The, you can have like different weights in the bottom of the handle so you can adapt the weight so there's like a three grams a six grams and a nine grams so you can change the weight around yeah it's quite a cool unique that's idea yeah that's yeah. cool so i'll be um me and dan will, will make a review on that so that'd be quite interesting to to see what it's like test yeah. it out but yeah i've just got the normal the original uh cyber shape carbon but yeah it's great nice speed but good control and i think the shape does have a certain it's got a uniqueness to it i always get a lot of questions about it which is mm. cool and yeah that's it's a clever. cool innovative idea definitely yeah. Yeah. definitely I think we've got the editor possibly out there. Maybe not. Maybe he's off having a sandwich. We'll have to grab him at some point. Okay. Who's sitting in the uh, chairs? Chairman scoring again. Chairman's getting into the umpire chair. <laughs> the chairman. Look at uh, Captain. 
Shorts are coming off. Yeah, now he's Shorts getting ready. Off. Trousers oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this is a family-friendly show. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. I think we're going to see an early Cho from the captain. It's the early Cho. I think it's going to be the early Cho. Captain is ready. He sets in the corner with his hoodie on and his jacket, and he'll come out mm. all firing on all yeah. cylinders like a like an electric eel out of the so. depths of the ocean. So there we go. See a comment say, Joe, are you playing for TTD now? I do in the local league team, so I play with Chairman, with Gaffer, with Dan as well. Here we go then. The short float. It's the early whip there. He it tried to get was. in. It was. It's the right idea. Being positive, get in on it. I mean, you know, Captain's got to do that. He's got mm. to be bold against the beast. I was yeah. about to say, I'd like the idea of him throwing in a few long serves as well. Yeah. See, the beast just trains a lot on short touch and flick receives. So actually, let's keep him honest. Clever. Mm. Ooh, you could hear that stamp on that serve from inside the commentary booth there. <laughs> it's aggression from the beast on the serve. It's paid off. Oh, Captain's not read that one. No. The beast has got subtly deceptive serves. This is the thing when you play the beast. He's got such a high acceleration on that action that it's quite hard to read the contact. Oh! <laughs> Captain stood his ground there and it very nearly paid off. Equally to your point about the, the beast serves is you know that he's he's waiting on every third ball to get in behind it. That puts a lot of pressure. This is the thing when you're serving. Oh, good mm. good from the captain there. Like you nice. said, throwing that serve. long variation. Mm. Chairman there, looking regal as ever in the, in the umpire chair. Let's hope he doesn't fall off it. Yes, it's a strong start from the beast, isn't it? Deary me. I asked him pre-tournament what's your best shot? And he looked at me and sort of said, I don't know. And then, interestingly, it was you, Frog, that said, your forehand third ball. And yeah, definitely. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, Captain's going for the showmanship. Let's kick that one. Oh, oh, oh wow. That, that could be a donkey there. There is the donkey. donkey there on. Is. He's in. He's in. Oh, oh, is donkey right there? Is he hurt? No, no, he's okay. But he's giving him a little shake just to make sure. Oh, what a rally though. Need the beast and whip sound effects. That's what we need <laughs> yeah, to do yeah. in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a comment there on the stream. Beast's aggression is fire. I've got to agree with that. I mean, it's just full on. That's why he's the beast. Yeah. <laughs> That's his sound effect, isn't it? I've just seen the tech guy. I forgot about the tech guy in the local league. I'm very sorry, tech. You do play nice. <laughs> See, that is something I think you can catch the beast with. He's so aggressive and he wants to take the front foot. That actually, like a half long serve is much better, much more effective than, mm. a, than a short. Oh. This is so tough when the beast is forearms going like this. Yeah. You've really got to do something to get him off it somehow. It's tough. It is. It's strange that there's been quite a few... I think every game has been 3-0 so far, mm. which is uncharacteristic of T2D team events usually have a very tight and cagey games. Although, having said that, you know, Ringer against Founder was three very tight sets, so maybe a bit uh, deceiving that scoreline. Yeah. Ooh, another short float. Chairman's decided that was a let. <laughs> Players seem to be alright with it. Oh, you can see how good the captain serves are. Heavy back, misread, dumped in the net. 5 8, he's not out of this. Good serve now. Captain's going for the robbery set. And that could end it. That's what I mean. It's serving against the beast as well. He likes to step in. Anything that mid forehand he knows range. He's go for it. Yeah. It's so tough. You almost can't allow him to get a, a full forehand on it. And the captain's doing well here to just mm. cling on in. He's just like that little annoying sort of pest at the moment that won't go away for the beast. It slows it down, clever. Mm. You see, it's pressured the beast into a it bit is. of rage there. It is. TTD pressure is real. We've seen a lot of these. Dan and the Ringer comes to mind where he was 9 7 up and lost. I know, yeah, that was a big one. So. Yeah, Captain just hasn't quite managed to get enough of the forearm whips in, I think, to pressure the beast. I think mm. like, if that one had drifted long, half long, then he would have been in. Oh, oh the beast is getting for the strawberry. strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> All sorts of fruit coming out here. I got it, let's go, go. Oh, he's bringing out the 
Bring out the little choke. Ooh. Ooh, both of those serves then. They were heavy, but they, they were... Was there a chance to let it go long and sniff? Yeah, let's, this is the thing. Let's throw it down to the editor. He's down there. We're live. Yeah, strong start there from the beast. I mean, he just takes the ball so early, not giving captain any time. But you see, when captain does get his shots in, beast is under pressure. Just it's a case of who gets that attack in for me. Yeah, I mean, we saw Louis playing really smart in this first set. Like, mm. as, uh, as you spoke about, Gaff didn't hit the, his, uh, his trademark whip. Yeah, he wasn't, wasn't able to get it in. Because the beast was just uh, attacking him, always just in his face and wanting to play, wanting mm. to, to be the first to attack. Let's see how he gets on in the second yeah, set. Absolutely. Yeah. Back to the but studio, boys. Let's go. So, what do we think? Tactical tweaks for I think, the captain. I think a lot of this, a lot of this game is based around the serve return, as we already kind of talked about. But um, captain's got to find a way to get that whip in, and obviously, you know, stop and or limit the beast's foreign attacks. Because look, there you go. A good example there. He just gets in. It's so tough to hold it. Yeah, he's so sharp. Unbelievably sharp. And I think. You know, the tough thing for the captain is it's not really his game being on the back foot. He's the sort of player, I mean, that's good there, yeah. but he's the sort of player he wants to be on the front foot and getting his attacks. He's not, you know, he's not as comfortable being on the back foot, so I feel like his game plan's got to be, you know, brave and bold here. Oh, Or maybe, oh, oh, something weird. creative. That's it, something a little bit unpredictable. He's thinking outside the box now, captain. Mm. Mm, just an awkward length for the beast there. Even a little sign of a, a cho there from the captain. Mm. That's what we like to see. Just saw the gaffer there walking about. Lots of people asking about him. There he was. He's come out of mission control. <laughs> <laughs> the gaffer's like a oh, oh, big donkey top edge from the beast there. He comes yeah. down, but... Again, like that, that, that serve receive was... Slightly misread it, but he dumped it back to the backhand. At least that way, if Beast is going to play the forehand, he has to take a big step. He's got to move more, exactly. 4-2, mm. yeah, I feel like it's key for Captain to get on this set on the board here. 2-0 down, it's tough. Beast is only going to grow in confidence. It's good, slow spin. I've seen there a comment. How did you develop such an active footwork style? Uh, myself? Yep. Um, to be honest, it was always because I feel like I didn't really have a powerful game, so I didn't have that killer shot. So I always kind of based my game around my speed and you know, working on movement. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think anyone. I think the thing with footwork is it's actually something that anyone can improve. Like whereas something like forehand and backhand is a bit tougher, so footwork is always a good thing to, to work on. And both of these guys have good footwork. Oh, Oof, that's good. That's good. Captain, they're starting to get that whip in. You can see you've got the. Uh... Got the early lead. Got a nice cushion here. I've just seen a comment asking about captain's equipment. Ooh. He actually plays with a Steger all round blade uh, and yeah. MXP on both wings. T bar. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. And it's quite surprising because you'd feel like someone like Captain's such a powerful player yeah. using a, like people are very shocked when uh, I tell them or, or they ask. And he's got an all round blade, really. And I think it just gives him that good balance that he can really and control. They can really accelerate on the ball, and he's got that confidence. Maybe not on that one though, mm. quite there. He's a bit off balance. But yeah, he's got a nice again. He's got a nice little cushion here. That's oh. it, the whip. The whip. <laughs> you can get that in. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Oh, there's another question there for me. Tom, what are your thoughts on the Donic Applegren 89? I'm very sorry to say that I'm pretty sure I tried it about 10 years ago. But yeah, I mean, not too familiar with it. Haven't played with it much. But no doubt it's a good blade, like the older wood type blades are usually very good quality. Tom's still playing Swedish League. Yep, still playing over there. Um, Super Etan, it's good, tough, Much better tough games. Golf, yeah. Much better Captain's, than Cap. Well, we're talking now, Captain's run away with mm -hmm. it. Much better from him. He's now dictating the points. Oh, the bluff was dismissed there. Captain went for the back end bluff and the beast was not having any of it. See if Cap can close out this set. Oh, 
he does. Oh, whip. There we go, straight to that crossover point. Let's throw it over to the editor on the floor. Golf's playing well, Pocket. Yeah, receiving very well, that's the key here. Um, he's flicking well, touching well. I think he's, the momentum is with him now, so. Beast got to do something, man. But yeah. It's one all, boys. That's what I was saying in the first set. Obviously, Beast was getting all his attacks in. And this time, the captain was making more use of his attacks. Yeah. Both of them have big attacks. So whoever's getting it in, he's winning the points. I know it's tall last game. Time's moving the trophy. I just feel like... Yeah? Like yeah, sure, sure. Like yeah. Flip it, one percent. Anything for the captain. Anything for captain. We're loving it down there, boys. Back to the commentary booth. I'll take it home, Captain, yeah? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, here we go. Back to our stand, moving the trophy there. We just saw a, uh, a comment saying, Tom, if we could sign anyone to TTD, who would it be? That's a great question, isn't it? Yeah, it is a good question. I, like you said, you said Trolls, right? And, mm. and I can't argue with that. I mean, he's such a good creative player to watch. Trolls a lot, I must admit. I like the uh, the confidence that he has to often he's so stand and hold and yeah. count. He's just so relaxed. Fantastic. I think he just missed it, actually. I think it did miss, but it... Right, um, right way to play. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 As in, he, he stepped the corner and tried to get the whip he's in. He's got to do that, yeah, 100%. It's a good length serve. Oh. That's, that's, that's the good feeling. Good that's why he uses the... Uh, the all-round blade is yeah. key there. Just soft hands. Very good Soft feeling. little touch and block. Yeah. Keeping it low. It's so serve receive based this game, I think. It's just all around that first couple shots. Again, that unpredictability from the captain. Mm, Beast just wasn't happy there. Throwing in a little. I think Beast just trains. When you train at the level he trains at, and everything's aggressive, everything's taken off the balance. That actually, if you can give him something a little bit different. Yeah, some variation. Yeah. Break, break his rhythm a bit, I mm. think. Otherwise, he can just go on autopilot. Yeah, like the first There you serve. go. Yeah. The long the serve. Captain. Get the captain. Captain, you know, he, he was, he, I think, pretty sure last year he lost 11 9 in the fifth. You know, it was very tight. Mm -hmm. He could pull off, you know, a big upset here. Oh, Beast yeah. actually struggling with the captain's serve a bit now. Captain committing, kicking that whip in. And, uh, yep, yeah, as I said, First game here, it's not, not been a 3 0, so. Oh! Ooh, there's a right ball, though. He got by his body behind that. And Beast is aggressive, though. Always. Stop this camera angle. Some some guys are not a fan of a certain camera angle there. We'll uh, we'll try and take your comments on board as well, guys, and go to the, the camera you guys oh. are preferring. That's a big point. Oh, he nearly got out. He nearly got out over the net. Uh, Lee, Lee Duar, I just saw your question. So I play for a club called Norberg in Sweden. No worries for the question, it's all good. Let's go, Captain, 4 4 1 1. Okay, going to the kicker. Nice time. Yes. This is the captain all over. That's textbook. Captain. There we go. Captain's got the uh, kicker serve masterclass. <laughs> He's been watching Pear Garel. Mm -hmm. hey. Again, nice serve. You know what? Again, like you said earlier, that's the tactic for the captain. Yeah. If he can get the beast to return not in such an aggressive way and captain gets in, he's got a very good chance. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, gutted for Dan. Just saw a comment there. Yeah, that was a tough loss for Dan. I mean, he's been training hard. I feel like and I backed him pre-match, but it can happen in the TTD team. let there I think captain I think oh what's happened there is there a little bit of a disagreement there I think captain wasn't quite ready for the serve but it was a let anyway so oh, good hands there you oh, go again the captain's holding so well yes here. he's got it's underrated everyone says about the whip it's feeling maybe did the captain <laughs> I did him a disservice earlier saying you know he's not too good on the passive game but he's been brilliant <laughs> he's been brilliant so far here and he looks confident. Oh, oh that's strong. 
And again, you think from the beast, right, he's <clears> got in, he's read the serve well, he's got in that big banana flick, but it goes out to the whip. Mm, you've got to stay off it. Both good. these players, you've just got to stay off it. Oh, Mega Boyd. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very kind. Appreciate it. Glad you guys... Oh, oh, look at that. Very clever. You can see Captain pointing to the head there. He, we said it pre-game. Physically, the beast is probably better. Mentally, the captain is very strong. I mean, even, you know, even physically, the captain's no slouch, is he? He's like an electric eel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need some more similes and metaphors up here, I think. Up our game. Here we go, big point. This is a big just point. See, just go off, taking control of the moment, look, just yeah. slowing things down. That's a good experience. It's very Martin. good, yeah. And you have to do it. It's a good read I'll say. Oh, this is good to with this from Captain Beast. Is, you can just see a bit of the frustration there creeping yeah. in as well. Again, Cap, very, very good there. Read the long serve. Got the switch in cross court. Beast plays it back, but loose. The whip gets in, and it's much better. 10 6. He's got it. There we go. The slow receive back in. He's got it. 2 1 for the cap. Here we go. Wow. We'll throw it down to the editor. Get some reactions. Momentum changing. This is massive, Dane. What are your thoughts? I mean, you're in comeback by uh, the captain. And you can see Louis uh, starting to make a lot of easy mistakes. Um, and uh, it the captain is playing really, really well. So, yeah. He's, he's very calm and controlling the play at the same time. Yeah. Even though he's got the whip, yeah. the captain's still able to control the game, which is good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can, see, and you can see, you can see that Gav like the game is going how he wants to play it. When he serves, he know he wants the, the ball. He wants Louis placed him at the moment. So we will see if Louis will be able to. It's a, switch up or it's, it's a big test for Beast right now. Yeah. You know, the live stream, there's pressure, we can all feel it and see if he gets out of it. Yeah. Loving it, boys. Pocket. Captain's, uh, um, he's developed a really good hold on the backhand. And then once he gets that forehand in, Miles are just giving the point. It's just so strong. It's unbelievable. Massive. Unbelievable how strong it is. We are, guys. Captain. Far too clever. You go and see what the beast has. Oh. I mean, it could go one or two ways here. The beast is obviously going to try and really, you know, mm. pump himself up and get back in the game. But oh, there we go. It's a little breaking play there. Again, just cap. I like it. It's exactly what I tried to do if I was playing the beast. I tried to disrupt things. You have to. You've got to do anything. You can. Yeah. Give me captain there, just reinforcing that it's the correct shot, though. You know, mm. positive self-talk in table tennis is so important. When you miss a shot. You know, try not to be overly negative. Try to, you know, correct yourself in the positive way. Oh, he made it well, the Beast. And again, the Beast, I think, could possibly benefit from sending his forehand down the line. I know it's going into the whip, but he's now becoming a little bit predictable. You can see the first one's starting to come back. No, agreed. Agreed, yeah. He's got to get Captain out of that comfort zone. Yeah. It's too weak. Can't go captain, out there, yeah. Captain eats that for breakfast. Yeah. You can't go out to the woods at night and you cannot go out to the whip that week. Look at the ringer there. Ringer there is just got his hat on, doing some stretching, preparing for his next round. Meanwhile, this is heavy serve from the beast. This is such an intriguing battle. You know what? We complained that every game had been 3-0. I, I Ooh, think this oh. one may be going all the way. <laughs> it could well do. It could well do. Let's see, beast with an early lead, 4-2. Does Dan use Tresemme? I'm not sure what he uses, but he's, he's definitely got some sort of high quality hair product. Ah, ah, ah. He's got a real luscious head of hair, hasn't he, uh, does. the founder? Does. Oh, a slow clap going in there. It's a big kicker serve. Oh, that really... looked like topspin. But it's absolutely butchered, butchered with backspin, is what I'm trying to say. Another one, look at that heavy back. So he's in. clever. This is this was so clever. A guaranteed, if 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 captain plays it out there fast, beast just takes beast it off the bounce and eats it. For it. But actually, just slow it down, force him to do something a little bit different. This is really getting exciting now. There we go. Beast five four. Just just got his nose in front, and mm. I feel like that's key for him. I feel like if beast goes behind in this set, this could be psychologically tough for him. Shows are coming out now. Shows you how much. Tom, we need more puns. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, Mike. I'm gonna try and I'll try my best. <laughs> I love I love a good pun. You know me, guys. <laughs> Bringing out the similes, the metaphors. 
Here we go, Captain. Four six. <laughs> Pretty sure is using T-Mobile ALC. Oh, almost around the net there as I was describing the bat. Clever from the beast though. Keep him off the table. We haven't gone out there yet. So it's nice. Yeah, you called that one. He called that earlier. A bit wider to the forehand. The more interesting. Often. There we go. Now keeping him wide to the backhand. Keeping him honest. Oh, good placement as well. Very good. Unpredictability, I think he's. Uh... You know what? That shot there from Beast is such an underrated ball. When you get the ball that pops up high and you can really go for it. So easy to just hit it into the backhand or the forehand mm. of the opponent. Finding the body is so key in that situation. And that's what the, whoa. That's very good from the beast. Tell you what, he Targeting stepped up here, hasn't he? Backhand, that wide forehand now. Yeah, to your point about that one that just slightly pops, I often find myself, I dump it straight in the net because I try to take 10% off. Yeah, it's such a common mistake. Look here, look. Go off, go in exhibition mode. Beast off the bounce. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that could have been seriously. Go the beast. The Back beast. level. So the beast actually doing a lot of good work there, going out to the wide forehand and stopping that ball just playing into the middle, going early into captain's backhand. Captain was almost waiting for it, tee it up out there and just wait. No, and actually take that away, go to the wide forehand. Don't be scared to go out there as long as you can pressure it. And again, table tennis is all about being unpredictable. You know, you mm. might have one tactic that's working really well, but if you do it over and over, it doesn't become effective. You have to keep the opponent guessing. And, yes. And that unpredictability is so key in table tennis, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think Cap, again, was doing a lot of early damage, just giving the beast something a bit different. Yeah. Not playing like a Bundesliga player, not playing <laughs> like he's trying to play the Pitchford, actually. That's true. Give a bit more, almost local league, a bit slower, spinnier ball, possibly into that crossover or, or wide forehand. Yeah, break break the rhythm. Don't let it, you know, Beast is good in this bang, 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 fast exchanges. You know, you've got to break up that rhythm. Don't make it, you know, like we said again, don't make it predictable. Yeah. This is so important. It's going to be interesting to see which way this goes. What do we think, guys? Is this the Caps or is it the Beast? It's tough to call. I, I mean... I almost feel in this game... The start isn't that important. No, I feel like, yeah. They're both mentally right. strong. I th I, you know, sometimes where you can get ahead and then the opponent wills, I don't feel like that with these two. No, especially not the captain. The captain's very, very good mentally. Mm. Here we go. That's clever. Oh, he's made him blow for the flick. Mm. Hey, come on. And again, like, if that ball was heavy dug with, with, with backspin. He probably would guide it in, yeah. Actually, you know what? Just maybe a slightly looser serve. That's so strong, weird. that really is strong. It's Indiana Jones there. <laughs> That's a good level of serve from the beast. Oh. But again, Captain's just in with that whip. You can see how good the whip is. His, his balance was all off. He was walking backwards when he hit that, and he yeah. still went through like a missile. Yeah, you could still see the kick off the beast's bat as well. That's a good serve from the beast. Yeah. Forcing Captain to play like a, a you know a good mm. open up because he knew if he didn't, Beast would be there, gobble it up. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is we're going to be a real tense one. Yeah. Cap with the early lead. Again, that's what the whip does to you. Mm. Cap Beast there, he's so wanting to keep it tight and off the whip that it's gone in the net. Very good flick there. Beast is just doing well here, like you know. Season, to, yeah. Just not losing his head, he's just keeping in the game. Oh, chairman must have missed that call there. <laughs> he's, uh, he looks focused though, to be fair, the chairman. He doesn't look like he's uh, nodded off just yet. Oh, good adjustment for Beast. Oh, that's quality play. Maybe flick the net as it went over, but it was yeah, it's very good, good adjustment. Good placement, yeah. Again, that's what we said. If the beast starts to go forehand down the line. Mm, I feel he's got to. Mm. That's what I mean about the start as well. So if you look, Cap went 4-1 up. True. Just drags it back. I feel like these two are both mentally very, very good. There you go, we go. Level four each. Uh, just touch there, you can see Louis, Ooh. big grin on his face. He he's happy with that one there, yeah. Yeah, he's happy with that one. Just robbed that point. <laughs> Just to answer Mauro's uh, question, who won between Founder and Ringer? Ringer actually took that one 3-0, which is a bit mm. of a surprise. Very tight sets, but... It was. Yeah. Each set, uh, Dan found him. Once he uh, got above eight, he was always two up, and then 
Ringer would find a way to drag it back. Yeah, that was wow. a weird game. Oh, timeout. <sighs> really aggressive timeout from the captain there. He's just decided, you know what? Um, this it is not was. good. Let's Break throw it on. down to the editor. Alna with some reaction with Dan, I think. Time Big timeout. Timeout cord. It's intense in here. I mean, it's anyone's game fifth set here. But who gets in first? Who gets the attacks in? Who serves well? Who receives well? Pocket's nervous. Very nervous. Yeah. I'll pass you back, please. Let's go. Was it quick, uh, quick, quick time out there from the captain? It was. You know what? I think he was clever. He just wanted to bring the beast away from the table. Mm. Didn't necessarily want to do any tactical changes. He just broke the rhythm, yeah. bring the beast away, and then bring him back. <laughs> just show his <laughs> control here. Oh, well, that was a strange miss hit there, I think, from the beast. Just Game a bit off, just eager. Good feeling. And look what that timeout is done. Brilliant timeout. Mm, two point swing immediately. Oh, well, that's strong, isn't it? That footwork was key. Oh. And again, did you notice? Even the guys on the bench there, obviously, all the big production normally were all cheers, and actually, it's silent. It's so tense. It's so tense. It's always, Everyone wants it's, to win. It's, it's always tough in these events as well because, of course, no one really has any particular favourite except the chairman, you know. <laughs> but, you know, we've got a sort of. We're cheering for both players, really. Um, so it's quite tough. Yeah, yeah. Captain <laughs> Justice. Interesting though, it gave him a bit of intel because he played it and, and the beast stepped around that mm. back and just shows you what the beast is thinking. There you go. Oh. And then the next one, the beast is thinking, look, I can't, he knows I'm going to step round. Oh, this is so tense. You can see the smile on his face. I mean, Captain, Captain mentally is, is very good. He's been in this position before. Is this going to go long, fast forehand? Send him out there. He's going to short again. Oh, it was a, it was you know a what? Touch. He got that a good length, didn't he? It was, it was just too hard for the captain to squeak in a forehand. Was. This is literally, you can, it's a flip of a coin right now. Oh, so, let's go. Captain there with a good positive shout. Captain fired up. High toss. Oh, he was in strong and that's a big choke. Clever. Again, I think very clever change of speed from, you heard Captain say he was, he was leaning backwards. I think that's because he was expecting the pace. And, just, and actually Beast just took it all off. Spinny. Oh, you know what, I thought that was on. And that, could be a vital point for the captain mm. there. That, tell by his reaction, he knew that was a big one. 7 9 in these two big points. Beast obviously has a timeout. He's been, if he drops this one, he may call. He's been doing well on his serve as well, captain, so yeah. I wouldn't rule him out yet. He's taking his time. Oh no! Oh no! Captain will not be happy with that one. It's difficult. It's happened to us all, isn't it, at one point? It's so easy to do. Still you just try and do a bit too much or yeah. change your mind. Just change into the pendulum net. Yeah, back to the safety net. Beast there just taking his time. Now what he's doing, yeah, he's giving the captain a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good from captain. Committed. Step the corner, bang the... Uh... Hey, hey. Again, they're clapping there, but you can hear it's an awkward clap. Mm -hmm. isn't it? so it's... much tension in the room. <laughs> As I said earlier, when we sat out there, it's so tense. Okay. Toss again. What's the float? Oh, he's just over eager there. And Very clever from Cap. Let's see now. So that one went to the backhand. Let's see if he does go wide for or if he keeps him in that backhand. Oh, oh it rolled. That was so. Captain was so disappointed with that. Unbelievable. What a Big game though. Finish. All right, let's throw it over to the editor who's down on the ground for this. Okay. What, what a match, Dan. Quality. Play beast. Yeah, quality game there. We knew it was going to be close. Both big hitters. Yeah, beast come out. What do I mean? Well played, beast. That was a crazy match. What a match. You had to pull it all out there. It's the semis, yeah. mate. Yeah. I'm happy because towards the end, it was, I was a bit down there. I started playing much more clever, cleverly, serving more float serves, trying to get in. Yeah, it's good. good. Five Man, years TTD. ago, five years ago, mate, that would have been a three-nil battering. So yeah, your experience is coming through now, mate. Yeah, just, just wow. Well TTD pressure, really. It's like, <laughs> man, you're playing a forehand. You're thinking, what? Oh, Under the lights. Oh, everyone's gonna see this if you miss that ball. If you like that, when he was lobbing of it, I'm thinking in my head, oh, if I hit a donkey. Yeah. Oh. Quick one for the fans, mate. What racket have you got? No, yeah, I got Dignix 090 on the forehand. Spinny. Dignitz 05, it's good. And uh, Timo Ball, LC. Nice. Yeah.
Loving it boys, loving it down here. Back to the commentator brief. Let's go. Here we go. Big game. We were saying that every game was a 3-0. And all of a sudden, we get an 11-9 in the fifth. That's what I, was, what I was going for, you know, really. I was just trying to just, just sort of tease it out there, get a nice uh, get a nice juice in the fifth. And, yeah. It was an exciting game. I thought it was, I thought it was a great yeah, tactical battle there. Good, yes. And like you say, Beast then just said, look, I played a bit smarter. And he's exactly right. He started to take the pace off. started to uh, pressure down the line as well. Oh, we we have our semis. Draw. Dane and the ringer. What's up next? It's going to be a very good game, both with insane feeling. And then... Tom the Frog versus the Beast. Yeah, re repeat of last year's semi-final when uh, we played each other. So yeah, it's a big one. It's exactly what we wanted from these uh, these knockouts games that you really can't call either way. It's fantastic. It's going to be great. But yes, and and, and like we all say, it's uh, really small margins at this level. Really small margins. I mean, look know, at that game, eleven nine. Yeah, eleven nine, and and Cap put that serve in the net, and you know doesn't take a lot to all of a sudden drop over. Let's throw it over now to uh, the editor again. Get some reaction out on the floor. Massive performance, Captain. Yeah, couldn't quite get over the line though, could I? Whip was going, Whip was flying. Whip was going all right, yeah. Serve receive was looking very good in the first two sets. Second set was looking better. Mm. Started serving quicker in the fourth set though. Mm. He just. Didn't give me any time to settle, he's just serving quickly, quickly, and the ball was coming fast, difficult to sort of judge what it was on it. I was too passive though. When I had a chance, I was, I was trying to just hope he missed, I didn't go for it. Four went up in the fifth, should be going a little bit harder on this long serve, just go. I was trying to, players like this, you can't be soft, full-time player like this. Mm. Plays every day. And I can't be going soft, I need to be putting pressure on, even if I miss, I need to just go. Yeah. But oh, it's table tennis, man. That is table tennis. That is table yeah. tennis. Well, it's good to see. Pocket, you enjoy that one? Sorry, you're eating your sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying the sandwich. <laughs> Frog. It's really good. Frog's out the commentary booth. Yeah, good fun commentating on that match. It was a real, uh, a real tactical battle. I'm sorry, I'm just struggling with my, struggling with my T to D team tracksuit here. That's what it's all about, boys. That's bit, why we're live. Bit of a, uh, yeah, bit of commentary I did. It was good fun with uh, Joe in the commentary booth. It's been a great, uh, great event so far. I get injured here, guys. <laughs> live on, live on YouTube. <laughs> Just injure myself before I take on the beast. Sorry. No, no. Here we go. We have him, the victorious beast. How was that? Tension. It, we could feel it through the screen. It was. It was a no I was nervous. Yeah, we were both nervous. I thought you, you. I don't know if you guys could feel it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was really. I was really. It, when it went down for the timeout, and everyone was whispering, we were like, yeah. "This is what it means, guys. You're used yeah. to like." these big loud reactions yeah. and everyone's happy and actually like everyone wants to win we could literally feel it through the screen and yeah it was big it was big cat cat made it very difficult i think what we were sort of noticing was like giving you maybe slightly slower balls yeah. than you're used to and like trying to mix up just the pace obviously he's got very good serves as well but yeah it he was very clever because he knows if he plays fast, like I'm young, I'm training. If he yeah. goes fast, fast, fast. That's exactly what we said. We were like changing, putting spin, slowing yes. in our time. Yeah, if, we said that if you play at full pace against you, yeah. you're just going to eat yeah. the ball and you're, you're going to look like yeah. you come off at the end of the day, take off your top, and it look like you're doing paintball. Yeah. It's just smashed away. First set, he also, he gave me everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was easy. Yeah. What do you reckon on this next one then? So we've got Dane and the Ringer currently warming up. You can see. Wow. What are you thinking? Dane in the first match was very impressive. Oh yeah. Because a pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, Ringer was also not playing too shabby, was mm -hmm. it? So. There you go, here's the head to head. So, Dane, 20, we have no idea <laughs> how old the Ringer is. Head to head wins they've never played before. Highest national ranking, Dana 8, Ringer again. Nobody knows. Previous knockout result, obviously, this is the Dane's debut in the tournament. Ringer got to the semi final last year. Dane's been playing for 12 years. Ringer. Nobody knows. He could be 22, <laughs> he could be 62. Nobody's quite sure. How do you see this one going? What do you think? It, I think these are two players with unbelievable feeling. I yeah. feel like we yeah. may see some crazy yeah. rallies here. My money's on the day. I think that's probably a smart bet. I mean, Dane is just, he, he looks so relaxed when people are attacking at him, yeah. that he's able to just absorb and then all of a sudden you play a half weak one yeah. and he bangs away the yeah. ball. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. He's gonna enjoy this one. I think there will be lots of fun points, lots of stepping around and uh, taking the ball late. Let's hope. Hope it's a good one. We were saying then that every match had been 3-0. Yeah. You guys went on. We went all the way from the fifth. It's 
But you know what's funny? Last year, it was a similar type of dynamic. Yeah, Three, yeah. two, R one. Go. Okay, we got the editor out on the floor again. We're going to get some predictions from the rest of the team. Let's track it over to him. Okay, Tom, who's your money on? I mean, you've got to say, you know, it's hard to look past the Dane, but you never know. Ring has already, you know, some people would say already caused one upset today, and he's got class, the Ringer. His serve return is strong, but um, my money would have to be on the Dane, I think, to be honest. Okay, the Dane. I kept Dan, Dan. Did you put his hand up? Yeah. Who's going to win this one? The Ringer or the Dane? You know what's interesting here, yeah? We don't know the Ringer's level yet. <laughs> so, like, he, he, we always know that Ringer adapts to his opponent. Dane, whatever level he is, we know he's great, but Ring will adapt to it, so it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be tight. You know, Ring has got a dirty reverse serve, which is tough to play against for anyone. Chairman? Oh, uh, I've got to go with the Dane. What I've seen so far is quality. Chairman loves the Dane. Pocket, who are you going for? Um, it's hard to tell, man. Um, like I, like uh, Dan said, the, ring, the Ringer can adapt to, he adapts to the player's level. Like a chameleon. Yeah. yeah. He adapts to the player's level, so I think he might go top 100 in a world level right now. <laughs> <laughs> and just... You just never know. You just never know with a ring. Can I just ask, Chairman, who's your favourite son then? Dane or Pocket? Well, the beast is coming up Ooh. on the blind side. Yeah, this is a Chairman's been a busy boy. How many sides has <laughs> he <that Chairman>. lost? <laughs> Chairman, Chairman <laughs> people are asking down. what bat have you got? Are you going to get your bat? Um, what have I got? What have you given me? Well, I said, I don't know. What bat have I got? Actually, I, as you know, you've got a drink all carbon. Big okay. shout out to the drink all. Um, uh, you've got oh, ten, a bit of inner tube bit on the handle. Tube. Keep the grip. Bit of bike, bit of literally. Marley in the tube. Yeah, literally, yeah. bike in the tube. All the bike makers are available. Yeah. <laughs> what other bike mates are there? What rubbers? What rubbers is he got? Uh, what, do you oh, actually go to five. Ten G twenty five on the backhand for the punch. Costa, no Costa bloke. And ten yeah, yeah. five on forehand. Costa pack loads. There you have it, boys. Bike in a tube on the handle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the semi's coming up soon. I'll pass you back to the boys. Here we go. Back in the booth. You can hear there. Chairman doesn't even know what he's playing with. <laughs> <laughs> we said to him one of the keys about him playing uh, the frog early was unpredictability. Yeah. And saying like you need to try and make sure that the frog doesn't know what's coming, and he was he was quite nonplussed about it. And basically said, I don't know what's coming, so how can the frog? <laughs> Which uh, yeah shows you how much importance people put on bats, and he doesn't even yeah. know what he's playing with. But uh, yeah, that's our chairman for us. Yeah. This is going to be a big one. There we, we were saying about the brutal nature of this tournament, right? You lose, and then you've got to go an umpire. Yeah, just not the peak. Here we go, the ringer. I feel like the ringer, that air of uncertainty might get off to a very good start here. Yeah. Yeah. This is so unpredictable. Really? Like, the, my money's definitely on him. Ringer could produce something special here. It's got difficult serves, takes a little while to work out what he's doing. Quite happy sitting and holding similar to the day, and then also stepping forward and bottom in the state. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. Let's see. Tops off. Bringer sporting again the uh, the long sleeves. What's happening in the uh, chat then? Anything? Uh, what team and league are you playing in in Germany, Beast? Me. So I'm playing in Regionalliga. It's fourth division in Germany. And yeah, it's strong. Currently, we're in the half half uh, half time in the league. Yeah, yeah. The second part starts in January, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the second part. We're currently third in the table, so oh. hopefully we can. That's fantastic. Uh, go up. Yeah. What's the kind of level on a, on, a, on a scale, I guess? Like, is there is there like national players in there? Yeah, yeah. similar to your, your ability. Is there some that are... I would say I'm currently playing 10-8, I think, or 9-7. Okay. So it's and for me that's playing very well. They've started. Here. Oh. This is what we mean about the ringer. Look, Dane's yeah. just opened up with a beautiful backhand up the line. Ringer just counters yeah. it and then tries for a counter of his own. And ringer has nothing to lose as well, so he's gonna sling. This is going to be a fun yeah. one, I can tell. You can see Ringer hits those big counters. Dane just absorbs it, dumps it back on the table. Uh, I say a question. Joe, has your backside gone numb yet? Oh, I, you know what? Dan has sorted me out with a lovely leather chair. We're okay so far. Here we go. So there you go, Ringer already. You know, Dane putting the first serve in the net. He's very deceptive. It, there's a reason why we say we have no idea what his level is, because sometimes. Sometimes he uh, just goes full beast mode. Wow. It's 
2-2 two, two already. You know what I like as well about the Danes game? That high toss serve. Yeah, I'm going to have to so learn good. that. I feel worried that I would throw it up and it would, it would <laughs> land nowhere near me. Look at that. Goes off the screen. Picks up. Oh. <gasps> Come on. Oh, chop smash. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, my word. We told you to expect fireworks, guys, and it is starting early. It is New Year's Eve already in here. You see the ringer? Man, hits those two big bombs, and then the chop smash to the counter. That was... Whoa! See replays. It's going to be fun. Oh! Wow. I almost don't want to talk through it. People are asking, can you bet on this? You should be able to. Point of the tournament, definitely right. Definitely right. He counted a chop smash. Holy moly, he did. I think that's what the ringer was thinking in Polish. <gasps> what? He is unbelievable. Was that off the ringer's thumb as well? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Starting to take early control. Wow. Taxi up the line. Bring it. Oh! oh! This, is this is gonna be fun. You can see what more can the ringer do? He's read the taxi up the line. He's then hit a running backhand and Dane just absorbs it. Dane's fundamentals are so good though. He's never out of that ready position. He's never really gambling on either side. He's just there and he can react. Yeah. Big kicker. Oh! The 360 it did ring us so well in that game against Dan. He's pulled out again there. Big smile on his face because it was close. Oh. Dame read it well. Comment there. How did it feel winning the JBL back in 2020? Pre-COVID world. Wow. That was a good team. That was you. That yeah. was you, the Dane. Silent assassin. Silent assassin. Yeah. I played with the silent assassin in uh, in TTDSL, and we nicknamed him. Yeah. We re-nicknamed him the Violent Assassin because he was on a war path. Yeah. He he's, was incredible. He's great. Mm. Different level of player. Tom yeah. might not even have a chance. It's interesting, isn't it? We want to see it. Someone writing off the beast, though. Are they? Someone writing off the beast, saying Ooh. that Tom might not have a chance in the final. Oof. We're going to, hopefully, <laughs> I can prove him wrong. 8-6 <laughs> uh, here. Oh! Oh! He went for it. Again, Ringer just staying in there. Look, 7-8. Good serve now and a couple of good receives, and he's up with a match point. You can see the guys on the bench having fun there as well. Lots of smiles. I would say I generally enjoy watching the Dane play more than oh, yeah. like Marlong and WTD <laughs> tournaments. Because oh. this, is, for me, is so fun. I don't know if it's because I know the players or. Yeah. Are in it, but this is so, so good. Matches. It's almost like a relatable. Uh, you know when you know when you see Marlong and Panjin yeah. play, you can't even understand how much spins on the ball, how yeah. hard they're hitting the ball. Whereas yeah. here we know how much spin yeah. the ringer puts them. on it and how tight. And yet the Dane just deals with them. Mm. It's insane. Ringer crazy. trying a little bit of mind games there with the early step whilst the ball was in the air. Dane not falling for it. It's great serving from the Dane. Okay, we're going to throw it down. The editor is out there on the floor with some early reactions. First set to the Dane. That's what I like to call the chicken sizzler serve, that one before last there. Just absolutely fizzed it in with backspin. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Good set from the Dane. Oh, some great rallies, to be honest. Ringo, I thought Ringo was playing some good quality stuff, but Dane's hold was very strong, very strong. Founder. Yeah, I, look, I said Big at the start, set. the Ringo will adapt to his env environment. Doesn't matter where he is, where he's playing, chair, or the Dane. It's, it gets so tight, it gets tight. It gets and so it's, I think we're gonna have a great, great game here. Ringo's playing well. Go on, Ring. Dane's doing Dane things, you know. Second set. 
We've got a birthday shout out, Beast. Do you want to do it? You see it in the comments. Can I get a happy birthday? <laughs> happy, <laughs> happy birthday to Nathan Taylor. There we yeah. go. Happy birthday, mate. Oh, oh already we're off. <gasps> oh, my word. Beast has stood up. Oh! oh! Happy birthday. That one was for you, Nathan. <laughs> my word. Tau Box's responses name on it would be decent. That is a great shout. We're always looking for ways we can update. We're thinking the underside of the table, maybe get some neon lights in there as well. That was insane. That's what you get from these two though. They've got such good feeling. Oh. Spinny. When you're asking what he has to do. Uh, you didn't miss the equipment check on the ringer. We'll do that a little bit later. Oh! <gasps> what the? He just backhand slapped it and his elbow was down by his knee. That is true initiative. And that's why we love watching him play because just some of the things he does are insane. I've got a question there. Who's your favorite professional? And then second one, who is the highest ranked player you've played? You had that crazy story about he went for the chop smash the donkey the donkey's coming out I think it is it's brutal here yeah who didn't you have this crazy story about uh, was it Dan Q wanted to uh, or Dan Q wanted to knock with you because yeah. he was playing Timo in the yeah. week that's insane yeah yeah He is freestyling. That's the problem. That's Once he, he gets ahead, yeah, he's so confident, so loose. And that gets in your head as an opponent, right? That's a good one from there. Using the angle as well. Hit me off. Big. Oh. We hit the edge and he still got it. What can you do? You can see Yang starting to get frustrated. And again, it's, it's played not only a, a good shot, he's then got the element of luck and he's got an edge and he still, the Dane gets it back. Such good feeling, such good hands. Oh. Went for the taxi up the line, it wasn't there. You'll have to get the bus instead. <laughs> again, Yang always in, he's, he's two points behind. Great feeling from Ringer, using those feet to get out wide to make sure he's in position and then pressure back. This is a game I can imagine where, where you play against the because you almost feel like there's an element of control because he lets you, but you then need those little points where sort of short touches and things just flip the net and go his way. You need them to go your way. Yeah. He almost allows you to play sometimes when he's just so relaxed. I feel Ringer's really changed something this set. He has. Well. He's he has, playing yeah. more clever. Not everything at a million miles an hour. Slightly slower on those two. The right thing to do. But yeah, just again, like it's the right thing. I think. I don't think you want to go at Dane full power. No. Oh, that's good. Very good. High level. 8 4 up, 4 points ahead. Apologies for any uh, language you heard there. As we said, everyone wants to win. We're all friends. Big table. Big spin. It's lucky with the net. Again, those are the ones I mean. Like, almost Dane allows you to spin in, that you then feel like when those, those little sort of 5% aren't yeah. going your way, they're the most frustrating in the world. Lovely hands there by Dane, because that was absolutely ripped. Oh! Ring went through that. Oh, oh, that was close. 
the day and getting creative again with that forehand almost like a shorter technique. Six ten. What's the ringer got up his sleeve? That's a good serve. Look at that. Dane expecting the short, stepping in, and ringer caught him. I feel like the Dane is that good over the table that actually serving long. And let's just open up the rally. Mm -hmm. you, you play short to him, you almost play into his hands because he's so good at that touch game or digging long or flicking that actually you possibly have a better, uh, a better advantage of just bombing long at him, knowing that he's going to hit, but then you can counter and at least you've opened up the table. <coughs> Louis Price, you are the young goat. <laughs> You're the kid. Louis the kid. Ringer getting frustrated there. Dane takes the second set. Again, that slower ball that digs in. We've got the editor down on the ground again for some immediate reaction. Let's throw it over to him. It's inten intense, man, intense out here. But you can see the players want to win so bad and get into that next round. Um, into the final. Into the final, yeah. The winner of this goes into the final, you know? There's a lot on it. What do you reckon, Pocket? Big match. I think Danny's really strong. Um, and. Uh, Ring is struggling to adapt his level. Just gotta find it. Yeah, he's just gotta find it, man. Be a bit more. It'll be somewhere. I think he's got potential in the rallies. He's got great potential, but he's just not receiving very well. Struggling on the receive. The thing is, you can see when Dane's serving, he's got the high toss serve. It's all different variations. Yeah. But more variations than Chairman's backhand open up. So <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been experienced at finals, so I know the pressures. Please let them talk to me about it. Yeah. Me and Pocket would love a final chair. <laughs> what would chair? Pocket's out. I want to play a knockout final. Okay, into, the final. into the third set. Gaff is going set. into the comment. Here we go. We've swapped. We've swapped to Louis out. We've let him go and get warmed up. We've got the gaffer in the booth. Gaffer, how's it going so far? It's great to be here, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's um, Ooh, it's, it's been crazy to watch it from from behind the scenes this time round. Obviously, had a last minute change up for this young Danish lad to come in. <laughs> yeah, I hope you've all been enjoying this uh, new, fresh take on uh, on on our TV knockout. And what a match this is! I mean, are we starting to find out the ringers' level now? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Some ridiculous points, right? We could just take in a moment, do the shoelaces, maybe regather. One one. He's got so much experience behind him right now. Just never know what's coming. Look at that. Even that is respan back on. Kick kicked it. Yeah. As the silent assassin would say. And there we go. He's got a very, very deceiving reverse serve as you know. It's so difficult to play against and actually I think I heard you when, when Beast was in here. Serving long against mm -hmm. a Dane, I think is actually a clever tactic. Just opens up that play. Again, like that one was half long, and you can get underneath it and spin it up heavy, actually. If you bang it long, then he, you take away that slow spinning option more often than not. Or if you if he does it, it still at least gives you more time to get behind it properly. The obvious problem then is that it becomes predictable. Oh, he went for it. Nearly fell into the captain there on the umpire's chair. <laughs> would the silent assassin win this event? He would definitely be up there for sure. At his very best, he is up there with the Beast and with Tom and with the Dane. So Assassin will make a comeback in the TTD Seniors vs Juniors at some point, guys. So watch out for that. Oh! Oh, wow. It's a great point. Both of them getting stretched on the wide forehands. Both of them still making it and getting the ball back on. Ripped with spin. Silent Assassin, uh, of course, making a return as well in TTDSL Season 2. Yes, yeah. Looking forward to that one. Oh. Oh. You might have been able to hear the bang on the wall there. <laughs> the day nearly was... coming through. Yam yeah, with a big chop smash. That touch from, uh, from the Dane was lovely, though, wasn't it? on Jan Grafting. And he's up, big. It's putting, Two, seven. It's putting an impressive shift in here, mm. Ringer. Chairman would be happy with his graft. Nice. 
just can't believe Ringer took out Founder again. It's just insane. Another another matchup with the Founder. Oh, that's great. Change of pace. Very nice. The slow ball. Get behind it. So clever again. Again with that slow ball gets him into the rally. This is what the ringer does. Very good hands. We haven't seen a squat in forehand yet. The counter. No, that's that's a shot he loves playing against a founder. <laughs> oh. Ringer nine four up. Can he take this set? Take it to the fourth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like a dance move. He just knew exactly where it was going, didn't yeah. he? Sold the bluff of going down the line. We got a couple of comments there. When is season two of TTD SL out next year? Do we know a rough time? It will be next year. Still in, oh, still in the production room with us at the moment, guys. TTSL season two. So we are hopeful to get it out early-ish next year. But we will provide you with updates. Mm -hmm. And no, the TTD team is not playing in Senior British League. Um, actually, obviously, that then formed the basis of creating the uh, Super League. Look at Jan taking the first set. We didn't even realise. Yeah. Very, very good. Back on the, uh, those backhand counters were coming out. Forcing that. It's good. Very good. Good use of tactics. Again, with the ringer, you just... You don't know that level just skyrockets all of a sudden. I mean, he's, I think he's just starting to get used to the day now as mm. well. Um, you know, he's, he's mixing that slow, slow shots yeah. and being aggressive with it. You know, he's serving long. He's, he's getting his tactics, tactics spot on now. Exactly um, what said, I yeah. think it's going to be a very, very interesting fourth set here. Are we going to see the Dane just coming out and ripping every ball? Are we going to see him maybe thinking a little bit more with it? Um, yeah, find out in a moment. Yeah, I wonder if the Dane's going to try and go out to of the ringer's wide forehand and just keep him out there maybe force him away from the table and then step in and he can take the, take the impetus on the game but yeah. interesting you can see yeah, look at Dane ready to go <laughs> he's so ready <laughs> yeah Kieran it's just a good game though there's a couple of trick shots there two very good feeling players they can do everything their fundamentals are very very good very spinny on everything they do as well you can see as well look at Dan on camera duty he never stops <laughs> he doesn't sit down <laughs> he'll be gutted not to be playing this match though Oh, this is a big point. Oh. There we go. First point. Dane's come out the blocks. Fly in there. Yeah. And he did pin that wide forehand then. Yep. Is the gaffer making any new summer signings in the front? Oh, you don't need to with backhands like that. <laughs> he this is, is what flying. We and again, we, 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 look at the Dane's reaction. <laughs> that's exactly what we say. No one knows his true ability. And that's the Dane he's just hit that past as well. There yeah. we go. Momentum is such a funny thing in this game. It's got him rattled a bit now. You can start to see a little shake of the head from Dane. You know, body language is so important in sport. <gasps> Snake. Oh! oh. He kicked. <laughs> he could, kicked at the last second. You could just see it spinning away from Ringer there. He had to stretch to get that forehand, that hook, and he just misses there. <laughs> And that's it. Ringer did arguably everything right. Forced the snake. Still didn't get the point. That's... There we go. Starting to pin that wide forehand. I think Ringer's backhand starting to really fire up. I would avoid going to it at all costs, which seems like the Dane's trying to do here. At least, you know, Ringer's going to get that wide forehand in, but at least he's taken two or three steps away from the table. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, he, he knows. knows it. He knows that was a banker. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> He's handing out the gifts. <laughs> Dane's got the advantage here. 4-2 ringer. Mm. Making some unforced errors here as well. <laughs> oh, very nearly got it. The way that Ringer approaches that touch, though, I mean, it's such a high-level shot there. He's not coming underneath the ball. He's coming, like, on sideways mm. to it. You have to read the spin very, very well. Mm. Ringer read it, though. He stepped the corner. 
just seen one of the comments saying, you know, he is flying sound effects. Well, on a live live stream, it's just got to come from me. Um, until I see something extremely exceptional, then uh, it's going to be in the bank for now. Come on, ring us. Switch serve tactics now. What do you want to see him change? What do you think? What can give him the uh, impetus? It's gone to the kicker serve. Oh, Ooh. again, the ringer. The counter and then the stare. I like it. He's in the zone. Look at him. It was interesting. He didn't want to take the impetus to take the first spin up. He let the Dane spin up and counter. Again, he's chucked it long there, but yeah. Dane just, just a bit too ready for that one on the little pivot there, getting that forehand in, winning that one. 6-4 up now. Who is playing the next match? Next up, we got another big one. We're hitting you with Tom the Frog versus the Beast. Just too loose there. I mean, you can kind of, kind of see it in Ringer's reaction as soon as yeah. he kind of hit that push in there. He's like, oh, that's going to get attacked there and Dane all over it. <gasps> oh! oh. <laughs> the chop block. Ringer steps in and says, do not, do not try that with me, young one. <laughs> Having none of it there. Dispatched. <laughs> He is unbelievable. Still close in this fourth set. It is. Ringer's never really out of it, is he? Right. It's be interesting. Seven from the forehand side. wonder if he goes to middle and tries a big backhand off this. Oh. Ooh. Such good hands in there. The fish. Oh, oh it's another donkey. <sighs> How yeah, is that? Yeah. You know, Dane's so comfortable away from the table that you almost want to up the pace and up it and up it and up it just to try and do something with it. It's just been too many unforced errors from Ringer here, and Dane just, as you say, very comfortable from the back of the court as well. <gasps> really had an edge there. Here we go. Dane now 9-6 up. Oh, just hooks round the ball. Just had no idea that, where that was going until literally the last minute there. Yeah, very good. Match points here for Dane. He's got four of them. How many is going to take? Oh. oh, the serve is lovely. The Dane just has a little bit too much for the ringer. A little bit too much. We're going to throw it over. I think Dan's on camera now, isn't he? There he is. Let's throw. Lucky ringer, mate. Hey, Dane. Oh. Into the final of the two to team knockout. Yeah. As I hoped. As you hoped. Yep. Feeling good out here? All right. A bit tired now, but uh, yeah. My game is still pretty much normal, so. Who would you rather play? It's the beast first Tom in the final, in the semi. Who would you rather play? I think. I think I probably would prefer Beast just because we haven't played and like we we never played a match against each other. Mm. So I played once against Tom, so I would like to play the Beast. But nice. Yeah. Good luck in the final. There we go, the Dane. Happy with that win. Again, you can see with the Ringer, just moments of absolute top tier table tennis. Those backhand counters, just insane. But you can see it there. Dane books his place into the final. Next one up is a very, very big one. A repeat of last year's semi-final. Tom the Frog, the Beast. What are we thinking, guys? Who takes it? Who takes it? Tom's control, Tom's tactical knowledge, and the Beast's just sheer aggression. Actually showing a slightly different side to his game. Like he said against Cap, I had to slow things down. I had to change things up. It's going to be very, very interesting. Um, we can't wait to see it. Players walking on the court now. Here we go. The difficulty is you win this one. Either the Beast beats Tom or Tom beats Beast. you got the Dane waiting for you in the final. <laughs> Doesn't get any easier, does it? But this is exactly what we wanted this to be. We wanted it to be tough games. We wanted these games to be very high level. We wanted you to see it in live time and see who could handle the pressure. Be very, very interesting. Head to head. Here we go. Tom then. 13 years the senior. Look at that for quick maths. 
head to head. They played once officially. Tom with the win, you saw it. Highest national ranking, Tom at 11, Beast at 10. Previous knockout result, I said it before and I will say it again. Undefeated, undisputed, this is his pond. Previous winner, Beast getting to the semi-final. Years played, Tom nearly double, double the amount. I've got a guest commentator as well. Look at him here. What's happening? What's happening? You put on a heck of a show. Nearly had the beast. <laughs> Nearly. We were uh, close. Everyone in the comments stream was proper impressed. Tactical really? knowledge. Yeah. How you yeah. started to tweak things up and then all of a sudden yeah. the whip just started firing. Started going, yeah. It was like Indiana Jones in the 80s. <laughs> it was world class. What are you thinking here then? So we've got Tom and the beast. Yeah. What are you thinking? You thinking Tom possibly has a bit too much or beast can override him? What, what, what are you thinking? So I think when Tom's playing well, yeah. I think he's got him. Not necessarily their level, their level's similar. Mm. Maybe Lou sometimes can play a bit higher, but I think Tom's, his style of play, Yeah, he's gonna get the serve back pretty control, easily. Yeah. He's gonna control the first one, yeah. and then he's gonna and then he's gonna kick him off the angles. We said it for you. Whereas Louis yeah. likes to win on the third ball. So if he gets past, if you get past the third ball, that's exactly. you normally can win the point. That's what we said for, for your game was actually, it was key, you started to switch. The first game was like you were playing a Bundesliga player and you were okay. playing almost key into his, and then all of a sudden you started to slow things up. Yeah, yeah. Slow, steady spin, maybe some into the hip, some into the forehand. Exactly. Actually, giving him things that he has to now think about. He can't go on yeah. autopilot. This guy plays twice a day, so you have to, you have yeah. to change it up. You can't just play normal, clean table tennis. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, when that when that week one did come, the whip came out and man, and I found a way. First, I didn't even get one four. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I was like, I can't win if I can't even play four. Everyone was shouting, "Look, we got some love for you." Oh, the captain, my captain. <laughs> we'll answer some questions as we go, guys. Any cap any uh, questions for the captain? Shout them out. We'll get them answered. We're gonna throw it out again on the floor. I think the editors out there with some early predictions. Let's chuck it over to it. Pocket. Great yeah. first semi-final. Yeah. Fantastic. Next yeah. one up. Um, yeah, this is a very good, good matchup. This one. Uh, I personally think um, Tom will edge it because uh, he's got good experience, um, and he's really good against the handers as well. <laughs> so it will, it will be a tight match. I think Tom will win three two. Okay, Dane, who's your money on the beast or the frog? The frog. Frog. Hmm. I think three one. Big match on. Pass you back, boys. Don't step there. Here we go. Heard the predictions. Seen some comments in there. It's Professor Maynard, PhD in tactics. He has got his masters in tactics. I think he's going to be very, very clever here. Mm. I think he's going to mix the pace quite well. Yep. Slow and steady spins. Yeah. Kill that momentum. Something that you did really well as well. Like mm -hmm. just slowing the momentum yeah, exactly. every time. He's got a couple of like points ahead. Exactly. I've got a question there about your equipment. Okay, yeah, so um, my equipment, so I use, uh, my bat is 25 pounds, so mm -hmm. I use, uh, I've got, I went down to Decathlon and picked up the first thing, yeah. I'm joking. Yeah, but it is, it's a Stiegel all around, it's, it's 25 pounds. You know what? I played with it for 20 years, I have never changed because I just, once I know I, got, I got, like something, I just stick to it, and then I use T-Bar MXP just because it's a bit cheaper than Tenergy. We said that, and people, people were absolutely amazed that you use a wood blade, given the pace that you get on that forehand, but we are like, look, yeah. this is feeling, and then you literally proved it right. The next one, I think Beast banged one, and you just beautifully held it. Did I? Okay. Like, That's why he uses it. Yeah, yeah because these carbon blades, they feel... I felt that when it was close, and I was a bit nervous. I couldn't do much with it. Yeah. With the all-round blade, it, even when I'm nervous, it just gives me a little bit more time mm, on the that ball. Control. I can give it a bit more control, so I can still play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Captain, something about an emotional player I saw. Ooh. Does this affect his game in a positive way? Yeah, yeah, I like to, yeah, I like to feel confident. I like mm. to be on top. Um, but sometimes, yeah, you can go too much the other way. So I'm always trying to manage it. Right, let's go over to the match. Yeah, it's a good look. To serve. Interesting to see who gets the strongest start. We were saying in your game as well that, that we didn't actually think the start was that important because you were so mentally strong, both of you, that you would, it, it wouldn't really deter you if one got four points ahead of the other. Yeah. Figuring each other out, here we mm. go. Oh. Ready, force away. Yeah, tell me some issues, don't go too passive on these moves. So difficult though when the beast is yeah, so, so good. Yeah. So good. Let's see. We 
were saying the most brutal aspect of this as well as you lose, and then you've got to go an umpire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's punishment. You can see that see one. That Tom right it straight, yeah, to that left hit for Louis because he's a left hander. Yeah, this is how I see this game going. Yeah. Louis is going to get in first. Tom's going to play a good first block, put mm. Louis under pressure. Difficult to play against that. Unbelievable hands. <laughs> yeah, but if he does, yeah, good quality on the first ball. Mm. Is the German still in TTD? He is. Uh, he's just taking a little sabbatical at the moment with his uh, <laughs> with his job. But he'll be back. Don't worry. You know he's a fan. <laughs> oh. I think that's what Louis has to do. Is kind of mix up the pace and mix up the uh, 100%. the location. I've got a question there, Captain. What's your routine before a game? Have you got any like superstitions or anything that you like to do? I, I never before? listen to music. I always okay. think. Um, I like to be aware uh, aware of my surroundings. I like to just I like to like laugh and joke with friends. Yeah. Before I go and be on a good mood before I go and play that. Maybe relate back to I'm a bit of an emotional player, so I like to be in a good mood, joking mm -hmm. around, and then I can I can feel creative, feel confident when I go onto the table. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting, is it? Not not almost overthinking it. No. Yeah. Exactly. It's like messing it. about with the boys on the side. Mm. What do I recommend for a beginner? Practice. <laughs> Keep practicing. I'm playing lots of matches. You guys should do a training camp. It would be cool to learn from all of you. I think that would be great, wouldn't it? We'd have to do it overseas, though. We can't do it in Bristol. Nah, it'd, have exactly. to be a, a, it'd have to be a training camp somewhere nice and warm. At least off to a good start here. Mm. Anticipating the backhand receive. Do you know, it's look, when someone's so aggressive like yeah. this. Yeah. It's like trying to hold on to a firework, yeah. right? It's, it's a risky game to try and let the other person in first, but... See, yeah. uh, it's, too, it's a lot of quality. Seems to be a lot going into the beast's backhand side. He's stepping the corner on quite a bit. I mean, it'd be interesting to see if Tom starts to go out to that wide forehand a bit. Oh, just got it. But do you know what? Even if he didn't hit the net, that was going straight past Tom. Mm. He went for it. Thoughts on boosting levels? I don't do it because I've got enough power for my level. My problem isn't enough. My problem isn't that I don't get enough power, so um, I just try and maximise the control. But arguably, boosting gives you more control as well. I just can't be bothered because it's too much faffing around. We've got the editor down on the line for some first reaction on. Chair, yeah. big first set. Beast looking strong. Yeah, he came out flying, didn't he? No mess about. I think he's on a mission. He's on a mission. Pocket. Yeah, it's a terrible game from Frog there. Um, Beast played really well. Um, but yeah, he needs to wake up now. <laughs> Any thoughts to Dane? Uh, the same as they already said. Beast came out flying, playing like re surprise surprisingly well. Um, and Frog was just a bit too loose. You're going to uh, face the winner of this match in the final? Yeah. Who would you prefer? <laughs> Can I ask? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know, because I haven't played them in a, well, I haven't played Beast in a while, so. We are back, you could hear the initial thoughts. I'm being a little bit more aggressive here, this one. Just get some force back. He's going to need to stay up, isn't he, if he wants to win this. Captain, how tall are you? Six foot three and bloody gorgeous. <laughs> That could be merch. That could be merch. <laughs> yeah. That's clever from Tom. Like we said, possibly going out to the wide forehand might just stop Louis. Just bombing off that middle zone. <laughs> Tom took the first game to take notes. He's about to give him a lecture. He is. Or potentially. He's definitely going to try. Again, that wide forehand. Stop going to the middle of the table. It's interesting going to put on a seminar. Oh, that's good. That's been so clean and so hard. Yeah, he's almost like a baseball player, right? And he just swings for home runs the entire time. People who used to watch old school table tennis know about Chen Chi. Sometimes I feel like Blue Price plays like Chen Chi. <laughs> big serve, oh. big forehand. Tom's got the counter. Oh. 
chairman getting a shout out there for a backspin topspin. <laughs> Oh. oh, that is. Was it miss it? I think, it's his I, think there. I think it was the uh, the receive flipped off the net. Which oh, okay. Is, I mean that was still a great punch though. How good is Ringer's backhand, by the way? Some oh, yeah, it is flying. Oh. We could do a uh, New Zealand summer training camp. That'd be great. Wouldn't That's it? Like fun, doesn't it? Could be the All Blacks as well with the kid. <laughs> God. There you go. That's what he's got to do. Yeah. See, can't just soft, soft patter it back and mm -hmm. give it something. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Just takes it up so early. Louis, uh, the beast footwork has improved a lot. You see that? That was right around the backhand corner and played down the line. It's a difficult shot to play. A lot of multi balls gone into that. Captain, can we see chopping just for fun? <laughs> You're a good chopper. I'm a good, I was chopping. <laughs> <laughs> the manager, the gaffer, says no. <laughs> I was chopping for two years, got some good wins, but uh, you need to be too fit to be a chopper. There's a lot of running around. <laughs> That's a big spin up. Yeah. I'm bringing the chos now. Yeah. There's some there. Pocket Rocket is four foot three. <laughs> Heavy spin up. It's good, ready. Two passes there from Tom. Mm. Just be going for it. Yeah, he got the chance in the second one, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's beautiful. Good receive now. That's Tom's strength, his receive. Mm. He's being creative like that. It's tough to play against. Similar to the Beast. Sorry, to the Dane. That was so easy. 9 7 now. Good to see the players wanted it. Yeah. You said when there was a timeout in your match and it was in like the fifth set. And it went to the guys for predictions, and they were all whispering because you could feel the tension. Yeah, everyone wants to win, but nobody <laughs> wanted to break the tension. <laughs> Amir Hussein, is that the pocket rocket? A uh, uh, pocket rocket, the silent assassin, sorry. Silent assassin in the conference yeah. section. Yeah. Or is that another Amir Hussein? Could be. Guess we'll never know. Very right clever. into the middle. See that? Yeah, the change. Good table tennis. Very spinny first open up as well and a change. Let's go, throw it over to the editor. He's on the uh, on the deck. Yeah, I mean, 1-1. One, one. We knew it's going to be tight. Tom, I feel like in that set there was picking half longs a bit more, being more aggressive. But it is a case of who is just having a run off point, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm feeling right now. Sophie to 50. Captain's just come out of the commentary booth. Thoughts so far with Cap? It's all about who imposes their game first. It's, it's big. It's about big. who imposes it. Here we go, guys. Look who I've got in the booth. <laughs> the fan favourite. <laughs> oh, <Pop>. wish. <laughs> we were laughing at when you got asked what your bat was and you didn't know. It's the best, <laughs> the most chairman thing ever. I'll just play with whatever game gives me. <laughs> so, what do you reckon on this one then? 1 1. Tom a bit more aggressive in that second set. Starting yeah. to go at him. So, getting out of blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think getting the beast said a bit, he does, mm. does lose it a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's part of the problem with being so aggressive, yeah. taking everything so early, is that there's a really fine line that once it starts to go the wrong way, there's no margin for error with it. Yeah. I've got a question, the first question for you, Chair. How do you train your footwork? <laughs> 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 well, what, what, what I do for fitness is... Um, and then little tramplanes. <laughs> I'll just go on one in for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So good. Great control. Tom also starting to, he's starting to pressure with that backhand, but he's starting to go out to wide forehand. Louis obviously wants to take, because he's a lefty, he wants to take that slight step right and play from that zone, that zone there. That's where he will kill you. And take that away by going out to wide forehand. And Tom's going to start to do that, I think. The fans want the lollipop. I forgot. <laughs> you were so in the zone. Well, that was, yeah. Yeah. It's a trouble. 3-3. Three, three. Getting around that corner. Captain mentioned that the Beast Footworks improved a lot to get around that corner very easily. Again, you either take that away by playing short into the backhand or long into the wide forehand. There we go. Tom's so clever. Yeah. He is putting on a seminar here in tactics. Beast serve now. Four all. I don't know the other game playing flop. Do you not? <laughs> <laughs> you just go on there and whatever you feel like. I know people say you should have tactics, but I'll just. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Once Beast gets you away from the table, it's tough. Yeah. It's so tough. Captain is defo, not 6 3. <laughs> Maybe he was being a bit generous there. I do notice she didn't uh, say he wasn't gorgeous or whatever he says. Really yeah. Ooh, interesting question. Do you prefer 21 points or 11? Do you prefer the longer style game or the... Uh, oh, that's great by the beast. Had to fight Tom. Big backhand, aggressive into that wise. The Sorry. Old, the older I'm, get, I'm getting, uh, the 11, I think. <laughs> Shorter games. Very good from Tom again. That receive is just absolutely butchered. He sent it back. You can see he's yeah. very good from Beast. Sharp, isn't he? Yeah, straight at the body as well. That's what you get from trying full time. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm just here making up the numbers. It's a privilege to play with these guys. <laughs> it is. Beast now taking control, very clever. Nine six playing a lot more into the body. I said that. I said it's a net as well. I said it's a pleasure to watch the Dane play, even though I'm stuck in here. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's it just varies it so much. Oh. oh wow! Oh wow! Oh! We had an instant replay button at Pinpod. We would be pressing that right now. Come on, Froggy. So there you go. Louis takes that second set. Third set, sorry. And, uh, we might be about to throw it over to the editor who's down there to get some reaction from the guys. Let's chuck it down to that. Yeah. What, what a set. Crazy, yeah, was. amazing. That, that rally, I think, for me, was rally of the tournament, but Captain's already saying, I'm not sure if it's took out the Danes shot so far, but that was nah, great. I would, I would great give this rally of the tournament as well. Great, great like, points, great yeah. points. Tom was very, Intense. very pressed. Yeah. Can you say that very pressed? That he mean? was very much under pressure. Yeah, we, under pressure. We, might, we might witness a robbery in this game. Tom likes a good robbery. He loves a good robbery. That yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what happens, boys. Back to you guys in the country booth for the fourth set. Let's go. 2-1 Beast. One beast. Now we're back live. Chair just had to check if we were live because uh, whilst you were looking at the team, you went, ugly bunch, didn't they? <laughs> That's your children you're speaking of there. Yeah. Pocket the Dane. Blame the mother. Dan. Someone asked uh, if you could get down a haircut. Yeah, he needs it. He? Yeah. <laughs> Get him a haircut for Christmas. Okay, here we go then. Tom's serving from middle. Oh, he went for the bluff. Good dummy. I taught him it. <laughs> oh, it's a great block. Great 
blocked by the beast. Tom teed off down the line. Beast just controlled it, pushed him back. This is great vision, isn't it? Mm. Really good. Yeah, shout out to the TTD tech team, Roger, who's on mission control in the gaffer there. Moving all these cameras about. Get away from there. Very good considering the net. Yeah, Beast, once he gets ahead of Steen, it's so hard yeah. to stop. So I'm not necessarily happy with the ball here. I think it's done a couple of times where he's caught it and dumped in the net. Let's see. Having a quick knock just to make sure they're happy with this one. Is it freezing in the hall, or why did the captain put on his winter jacket? It's a bit of both. Obviously, it's December here in uh, in the UK. We've had snow this week. We're in a big, almost warehouse. You can see the size of the room. So we've got the heating on, but you can't have it on full because it affects the breeze in the hall and knocks the ball off. Plus the fact that captain, he's got the, uh, the, oil in the Christmas flu. Yeah. Got the load in. yeah. We're all probably going to get in there. Yeah, we are. That's what we do for the love. Frog here. One four down. Needs. Took the pace off that one. Wants to start going. Oh! Beast went for the uh, switch hands. Are there even any mods? No. We're all we're all working, guys. <laughs> oh no, Chairman just asked for some mod. Oh! That's better though from Tom. Look, almost if you can take the pace off those points, put it into awkward areas, he can do damage. Pulls it back. He was 4 1 down. He said he needed some big points and he's got them. There you go. Took the pace off, played it to the body. It's clever. There's a brain in there somewhere, says Tom. What's a mod? A moderator. Oh. See in the uh, chat sometimes there's lots of. There you go. The frog's starting to turn up, five points on the spin. We said he needed some big ones. Beast coming right up to the camera, look at him. He's like a lion at the zoo. What was the chairman's biggest win in his table tennis career? Beating Ringer in the semi-final of the- Beating Ringer. Okay, two years ago. I think that's fair, that's a big win. Oh. Tom just hanging in there, he's so good. Again, that's six points on the spin here. Big spin back. Tom coming back into the table. He's teed that. Oh! It's oh! oh, right <laughs> a big point. Went out of ideas. Beast did so well there. The ball flicked off the net and he just adjusted, got it back on. Yeah. Tom, no idea what spin was on it. It was obviously heavy back by the way it reacted. Has the chairman ever boosted a rubber? The chairman doesn't even know what rubbers he's got. <laughs> No, the fan did boost it in me for a little while. Did he? Yeah, I can tell a difference. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going up a level. Look at this. Oh, that's not cool. hey! He's firing up. He stopped the rock. 7 6. Big points now. New rally of the day, you're right. Favorite shot chair, the clump. No, I prefer the uh, the backhand bluff. <laughs> the backhand bluff. Explain yeah. that for those guys. If I they... can't. <laughs> Is this the one where you? I think it's loaded. Yeah, yeah. You and think it's loaded uh, with topspin, so right? So is the opponent. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. Seven all. Oh, oh, that ball, all of that back, all of the side spin was on that ball. Just kicked a little bit wide. But he's done well. He lost six points on the bounce. He's pulled it back. Eight seven. Again, people. <laughs> A little flick off the net, a little bit of luck. People saying about the Dane being far too strong for these two. Once the beast gets going, Dane likes to take a step back. Could be interesting. Tom, as we all know, tactically is just unbelievably good. Oh, it's a heavy spin. What right, else we got? Chair, you need to tell us how you get backspin on a backhand open up, please. That is the bluff, isn't it? I can't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
beast is more composed, more body. That is exactly it. You know what? One of the uh, eight ten, good save there. Ten, eight. One of the uh, advantages of playing from so young when you're beast, when you started when you was five or six, is you're so low. You're such a small body that you have to put everything into it. But by the time then you grow into a to a teenager like he is, all of a sudden your biomechanics are just so strong. But here we go, ten nine. He's coming back. Oh, and he's kicked it. <laughs> The beast gets it done. Roars into the final. 2 1 win. That's a big win. Look at that. Here we go on the big screen. Beast was impressive there. Never really got. He obviously, he stopped that rot. He lost the six points yeah. in, that, in that fourth set, but did very well to, to clean back onto it. Together. Beast and the Dane, the two youngsters. Yeah. Flying the flag. I tell you, that is not. People in. People in the comments are writing, saying that they're writing the beast off, but he takes the ball so early and so aggressive that if he starts to fly, it'd be very interesting to see if the Dane yeah. can stick with him. This very is the way the final should be, though, these two boys. Exactly, right. We're going to chuck it out. We've got the editor on camera for some, uh, some feedback. Okay. Let's get it over to him. Big win from the beast. Yeah. How do you feel, mate? I feel really good. I felt I played good. I was, open. I was getting in first a lot, and yeah, he looked. The main point was he was letting me in a lot and I was spinning and then, yeah. And slinging. Just getting, just getting the slings in, yeah. You got your mate the Dane in the final? Yeah, it's gonna be a nice sh uh, sl uh, showdown. Okay, you played him before? Mm, I don't think we have played before. I don't think we have. Just on the same team for the juniors, not, yeah. not always against. been teammates. Now okay. we're enemies. Now you're enemies. I wanna see big rallies, mate. There will be some big slings. <laughs> <laughs> best of luck, best of luck. Thank you. Some feedback from the boys down here. Pocket. On this game or? Yeah, what do you think? I thought Tom's he couldn't get going, man. He really struggled to get into his game, his rhythm. Uh, he was making a lot of mistakes uh, in the rallies. The ball was going down in the net every single time. Not sure what was wrong with him, to be fair. But Beast played really well. He was very aggressive. Very, 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 very aggressive. Yeah. Very aggressive. Well, Beast plays very well. He plays a lot of points quickly. So you pick up the ball, serve, boom, 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 boom. boom. Yeah. Before you know it, six points have gone. And Tom didn't slow him down. Tom was up in the last set. And we just went pow, pow, pow. He just didn't, he didn't uh, yeah, slow it down. He wasn't to walk level. around. Yeah, you need yeah, to yeah. tie your shoelaces, play a bit, play the game a little yeah. bit. Yeah, still, you know. Um, but yeah, Beast played well. Can't, yeah. can't fault it. Can't fault it. So we've got the two young yeah. whippersnappers in the final. Dane against the Beast. Yeah. What's your thoughts? It's Who's going to win? It's a good test for the Beast. I think Dane's level is very high. Uh, but I think uh, it's a good test for him. I think he's got a chance if he serves well and attack well uh, and don't make silly mistakes. If you can push him back, but then he even gets yeah. good back from the table. That's what I'm saying, he's so comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. Away from the table, so it's, it's, it's hard to call, to be honest, but it's going to be a good game for sure. For sure. Okay. Here we go, we're back. I've just seen a comment, shame Amir and the German weren't here. We're going to have to expand it next year, guys. Eight players isn't enough. But the chairman, you might have seen him walk past. He's gone and got his bat. He wants to show you what he's been playing with. What we got? Whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got me, uh, me rub on yeah. the handle because yeah. I, you know, I sweat like a, a you do. sometimes. You, you know? know, guys, you know that um, video that we put out, yeah, five yeah. things that people hate? Based on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the sweaty guy. It stops the bat slipping. Yeah. Well, that's the theory, anyway. And then what, what, what's the black side? What is that? Um, Tenergy 25, isn't it? it. <laughs> so that's on your backhand, right? Yeah, that's for, down to the fan to give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the uh, forehand is 05, 05. Tenergy 05, yes. Yeah. Nice. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> it looks great. Uh, yeah, it feels all right, you yeah. know. Off it, the clump. It keeps switching me rubbers about. I don't know where I'm coming or going with it. Just play, just turn Thing up. Thing is, play. when you. When you've got a coach to chairman, you'll do anything for him to get an extra percent to win his game. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, in, I'm in you've got to find everything. I'm, I'm experimenting, guys. Online, any any ideas on how to improve the chairman, send it over because we try multiple. We try everything, look with Chair. Oh, you're great. Chair, you're an inspiration to, to millions. You really are. Um, if I'd played as young, so I think I could be a contender with you boys, you know. 100%. But I've seen those techniques. No, but what you give to the world is just pure graft. graft. Yeah. And everyone needs to give 100%. It's, yeah. it's the Cinderella story. From nothing, you've got everything. All through hard work. <laughs> 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 so, what we got? We got a little delay before the final. Or are we going straight in? You guys want to know? Straight in. Oh, here we go. Dane and Beast right. then. So I think we're giving Beast a little slight break. He's going to get some... Uh,
drinking. Give it two minutes and then he's going to be on and ready. We're going to swap the chair out. Thank is that, you are you much. done with me? We are, we are. Terrific. You'll Always. still get your fee, don't worry. <laughs> we're going to sub in the Tenity. main man. Yeah. We're going to sub in the main man, guys. The founder. The reason why we're all here. He's coming in. We're bluffing, aren't we, Joe? <laughs> Thanks for having me again. <laughs> here we go. Wow. All right, guys, we've got, we've got a couple of minutes. Throw some questions. Throw some questions our way that you've that you want to ask. I saw one that said about TTD versus TTD SL uh, All-Stars game. Ooh, best like versus it. the best. I like it. So how, how would that work then? Well, they the have winners... a team, maybe, maybe TTD have a team of us. Oh, yeah, have... and they've... Oh, get... That's great. Okay, so you get the four best in TTSL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that together. Love yeah, it. So many great ideas. And, yeah. and I, you know, a lot of people do comment like all different ideas and stuff. And obviously we want to try and do as many as possible. It's just trying to make it happen, isn't it? Yes. But actually this live setup really does help because it means, you know, editing takes so long. Mm -hmm. And actually, I mean, obviously we've got a great crew around us right now to put all their work in to make this happen. But it definitely is something I'm loving. It. People seem to be doing this live stream. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I've just seen a comment. You know, you asked, what can we do for chair? Send him to China. I love it. Yeah, can I mean, we just send him with a GoPro <laughs> strapped to his head <laughs> and just say, what What do you think he, how, how do you think he'd do with like eating? You know, they eat like crickets and things like that. Yeah. Would he eat them? He'd or would probably he... eat anything, chair, man. Oh, would oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, this guy live in a rainforest. <laughs> He's a caveman. He's a modern yeah, yeah, caveman. Yeah. The chairman is there. Yeah, he's he would chair would have chair would have been like a, a top of the human, you know, chain back ten thousand years ago. Yes, you know, in the tribe he'd have been jumping around, but now he's got a slinger ball. Uh, uh, uh. I've just seen where is uh, TTD HQ base. We're in Bristol in We're England, in Bristol. It's like southwest. We're in a little bunker, yeah. and we've got this crazy stuff going on. <laughs> We're about an hour and a bit hour and a half from London kind of yeah. when's the TTDSL episodes coming out it's we know it's next theme, year yeah it's next year it's going to be it's going to be probably or, I mean uh, the idea is to have everything built so then yeah. we can release once a week we don't want to release once every six weeks once a week is nice so that's so. the key guys there's a big delay obviously last time you got the first episode close up but then it was kind of yeah. editing one episode and then editing the next whereas this time you want to edit all of them yeah. release them what week by week yeah week by week yeah yeah I think it'll be much better so hopefully like uh, this you know March time, April mm -hmm. is what we're hoping yeah. for. That'd be good. We're aiming for it. I've just seen a comment as well about Ringer's uh, bats. He actually plays with the Viscaria and then he's got Tenergy 05 yeah. on both sides. You want to know something interesting with the Ringer? Ooh. He actually took the German's bat the other day because German's bat was here. Yeah, yeah. Good old German. We miss him. Uh, donkey as well. Um, and Ringer was like, let me just try it. And then he was like, oh, this is good. And then he just he he started it. using it. He's using it now. So he's, he's got German's <laughs> bat. He beat me a German's bat. Yeah, I just realized that. Juniors yeah. juniors will destroy the seniors, bro, with a laugh that, emoji. Well, okay. you're going to get to find that's out. That's coming way or the other. soon. That has been aired, and that's going to come soon. It's going to be wild. Look at Jack Vaughan as well as in there asking about the seniors versus juniors. Jack, Jack Vaughan is, is one of the uh, the biggest fans going. I always see his comments. Is, a legend. Yeah. Uh, Pongfinity Bay. versus TTD. This has to happen. I've been talking to the guys at Pongfinity. Um, they want to do it. We want to do it. It's just making it happen and make. You know, obviously, they've got a mad busy schedule. We do too. But yeah, we will make it happen. Um, that's got to be. That's got to go down, hasn't it? Yes, for sure. It's got to. Do we go to Ebat? Uh, yeah, they're yes. doing good things. Ellie in London. They're doing a lot. Of similar setup to us, actually. Um, so yeah. yeah, doing great. Uh, so that's definitely a potential. As yeah, well. they've got a great Instagram. The, uh, Ellie also has a great YouTube um, yeah, channel, yeah. doesn't he? No, they yeah. did. Oh, it's so good. They enter a team into TTSL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ebat. Yeah, Ebat are playing season two in TTSL. Yeah, so um, yeah, yeah. keep an eye out for them. Um, Bring the German back. There's been a lot of love for the German. I know he's great, isn't he? He's on his sabbatical. Yeah, he will be back, guys. He just has a very <laughs> busy job at the moment. I remember once we was at like a junior tournament, and uh, this was like after the first season German played in TT team. And he was like in a pub and this kid came up to him and asked him for an autograph and German was just blushing, <laughs> blushing. He's like, oh my God, I he can't so believe happy. it. Yeah, it's just amazing though. German is so loved. He's great. <laughs> Pongfinity will destroy TTD. The hey, smack talk needs I, to I'm begin. I'm going to put it out there, right? The reason why I want to see the match because I don't think they'll destroy us. Mm, interesting. They're good. They're very good. But when the lights are on, like the captain's always said, we've got a lot of practice mm. under the lights. It's pressure out there. Uh, no it is. Uh, you're all too good for me. So who, who, do we, who do we sling in against them, you know? Yeah. I mean, what, you know, Dane B. You know, we've got a strong big. team. We've got a strong team. I, I mean, it's big. Where's the ping pod video? First tour video is coming out. Is that next week? Oh, it's looking juicy. Yeah, we're gonna we're releasing the ping pod stuff during Christmas. Yes. To, um, it's gonna be a Christmas. Treat. Yeah, Christmas treat. Yeah, we've got a couple. We got the one k challenge as well, which was fun. Yes. Joe was obviously out there with us, was having a great time. Mm, jo yeah. Joe was fantastic, waking up at 7 a.m. Come on, Dan, content, content. I've still got bags under my eyes <laughs> from it. It's the longest week of my life. But they were great, weren't they? Yeah, it's sick. It was great. It's it was sick. incredible. But yeah, we uh, part of the editing uh, process is we 
what we, we must have filmed, I mean, 60 hours of footage. This is the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. That was great, man. It was great. Uh, where's the German now? He's still in Bristol. Um, yeah, he, he's just what he does for work is just very intensive. For yeah, us. he's Can't basically quite. lost his weekends. Yeah. For, from the work he's doing, he's lost his weekends. So, and obviously, weekends are so important for any sort of, you know, table tennis players actually do give a lot of uh, time away for weekends. Yes. And then we've also got one final one before we go to the head to head. Dan, could you imagine coming to Germany next year at the TTD team? Oh man, I'd love that, yeah. Why don't we take on TT team versus Team Germany? Maybe the and then team Portugal, team yeah. Spain. And, the, Anywhere. And, and, they, and those guys have maybe like a 5 0 head start, like the pros. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All they right. Coming soon. Let's do this. Uh, so, head to head, it's the final the Dane versus the Beast. The Dane, a couple of years older, head to head wins. They've never played each other officially, so we're going to find out for the first time. Highest national ranking, Dane at eight, Beast at 10. Previous knockout result, Dane, it's his first time in. Is he gonna win it on his entry in? And then we got the semi-final from Beast last year. Years played very similar, 12 and 10. Both started when they're very little. Both, I think that's that was a big point that someone mentioned about Beast was that he puts his whole body into the swing. Yeah. You think like, obviously it helps having a good coach. He had you from a very young age coaching him, but when you're so small and you can barely see over the table mm. and you're really, you, you have to fundamentally learn the right body mechanics, right? Of yeah. Throwing your weight through. And then by the time he reaches like teenage age, yeah. he starts bulking up and you can see he's got bigger. Like yeah, he's, yeah, he's strong. Then all of a sudden his biomechanics are so good that mm. he just tees the ball clean. No, I agree. I, I, yeah, I also think, you know, with, with the beast, yeah, he, he's also also always had hurricane free when he was very little. Yeah. So that's a slow rubber. So it helped him actually learn weight transfer and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you have to go through um, properly. Yeah, line. and then... And then now he's training full time in Germany, you know, multi ball. He's, get, he's got good quality coaches, you know. Um, like you said, obviously I was coaching him for many years. I still do, but having, you know, him in Germany now is, is a level up. Yeah. You know, he's learning so many little small things here and there. Um, the yeah. Level of player on their Instagram, you see like the beast doing multi balls. Yeah, yeah. You see the same Instagram. Per, I mean, the, the level there is. is yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice. nice. It's great. I've just seen a comment with some love. Uh, what about playing against Draycott, where Pau, they know. Oh, we love the Pau, we love those guys, yeah. Pau and Nap out they are, my boys, the well, 1D boys. That's it, they play for One Direction in TTSL. Yes. We've had some big battles with those guys. Oh, yeah. Pau played, uh, Pau and the Fat played uh, TTD Open recently, didn't they? They did, yes, both went out in the yeah. semis. Semis, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, no, good guys. I love them. Yeah, yeah, if I could play like anyone in Pau, <laughs> just stand and crack the ball off the bat, man. Yeah. So what are we up for then? So we just went in on Dane now, are we? we are, Looks like Pocket's yeah. warming up the beast. Yes. So look, we're gonna have a new champion. Tom's won the last two years in a row. Gonna have to, yeah. yeah. We have a new champion. That's good. That's what we wanted to see. All the comments at the start were like, who can beat the frog? Yeah, yeah, that's it. The frog's pond, but not anymore. This is it though. Like, you know, we, we need to create this like team where people want to keep chasing and yes. trying, you know what I mean? Like me and Chair are gonna be doing that for the next 30 years. So I'm just like, <laughs> I'll do anything to get past the quarter final of a knockout. Uh -huh. But like, you, that's great to have that pressure in it. Yes. Yeah, like, so it keeps pushing you. Pressure makes diamonds. Mm. Yeah, it's good. You see, everyone turns out. Everyone wants to win. That's, yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. No, it's true, isn't it? No, it's true. Like that, that's, that's really important. Like we, we've still managed to maintain that. It would it'd be horrible if like yeah. they were going exhibition mode or something. You know, you want that intensity. Oh, for sure. Tech guys just walked in. Tech guy, come show your face. You are like get yourself in it. You are. You know how much love was on the open video when they said, "Oh my, tech guy tech can guy's actually playing. play." Here he is. You hit some bombs. Back of house. There we, he is. Without the tech guy, a lot of the guys. None here. of this. Yeah. Happened. Tech Lights. guy and Roger. Yeah, yeah. Big shout out. Oh, it's happening. Get yourself in, Tech. Yeah. What, are you what, are you, what are you saying on this final? Oh, it's a big Who's your money on? Oh. It's, it's tough, isn't it? It's so hard to call. Get your, get your health, get yourself in, Tech. Get, there's the screen. There you are. Look, there you are. There he is. What are you man. thinking? Go on, give us your call. Let's oh. see if you get it right. I think 3 1, but I think the Dane's going to yeah. take it. Yeah. I think if Beast goes Beast mode, he takes that ball so early but that he likes to take a step off. He's going to have to rely on counters. And it's always that aspect. Mm. He starts getting it in. Mm. Clump. It's really interesting. 50-50 stuff in it. It is. It's very hard. Make it great. It's going to be great. Sick. And it be Pocket great. Rocket in the chat, showing some love for the beast. Look, we love the tech guy. See. <laughs> Hey, I, I've just seen We Love the Tech Guy it's all from good. Emily Ives, from Dan's wife. Is that something you guys have to tell us? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> only joking. We have, we have Scott at my garage no tomorrow. Time. We've got to sort of the lecture out tomorrow at my house, haven't we? <laughs> we have, yeah. We're going to go. We're going to throw so it out. Go. I think the editor's out. Yeah, there. let's see what they're saying. Let's Predictions. Let's chuck it out to him. Chair, yeah. you've made it to the final. It's the yeah. Beast versus yeah. the Dane. Yeah, it's a good game. But, uh, 
On today's performances, I think the day might be a little bit too strong for the beast. Okay. Which should be interesting. Two youngsters see him perform. The old boys are out now. <laughs> the young pups have yeah, come young, through. Young pretenders. Yeah. They're looking strong, mate. They're looking strong. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It's hard to want. hard one to call, I think. Yeah. Chaps, go. Off. Who's your money on? You have played against both these guys before. I think they're Dane. And Dane. Yeah, Dane's very strong, but yeah. I'm rooting for our English team. I want him to win this one. Yeah. And I've got to support England as well, innit? That's true. Yeah, England versus uh, Denmark here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, boys, <coughs> the guys are ready. The stage is set. Big match. Back to the commentary booth. Huh? Here we go. We are getting pumped here. Nobody knows what is going to happen. We've got hashtag love the tech guy down there. That's great to see some oh, yeah. for him. Yeah. Holland checking in. Hello. Congrats on growing the family and a brilliant idea. What a legacy it is. Pocket looks tired. Yeah, he got a rough draw, the Dane straight out of the back. It's, it's yeah, this this you could get. Really. Saying at the start, this knockout event's not easy. You got you you got one match. You, you know, Pockets travelled from London, it took him three hours whatever to get here. He's straight in against the Dane. Yeah. If he's a bit un nervous at the start, unconfident, you know, you lose it three 0 Yeah. Yeah, you have to start strong, don't you? Mm. Again, the brutal nature of this tournament. Tom's just lost. Straight in the umpire's chair, son. That's <laughs> how we roll. That's how That's the gaffer great. rolls. God That's tier content. That is great to hear. God tier. That's a great... Is it God tier? God tier, yeah. I love Who's that. God tier Who's content? in our junior team? T to D tour. T to D versus the world. Lessons from Nicaragua. That's, That's great. Okay. All right. All right, let's guys. I think everyone just chuck their predictions now on the chat and let's see who gets it right. Oh, One touch. Oh. Dane's coming out strong. Dane's stuck in the corner, yeah. Bobber, I would love to have Bobber for TTSL. Oh, get him in the commentary booth and then have him play. <laughs> yeah. He put me out of a job. <laughs> oh, no one's taking you out of a job, Joe. We're going, oh, we're that's going, going that's touching. Oh, my word. Oh, oh my word. Oh, we're going already. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is what we want to see. This is what we pay the money for. Stream's free, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> Not next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, big serve. See, this is it. This is what the pro this problem that Pocket had was Dane's variations of serves are mm. so much. Oh. 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 Did you see how much that that's not clapping. beast got the Love block it. on and the ball just it's hit. swerving. Yeah. Like, it, that is swerving. unbelievable. It's almost like snake shots on the shot. It's unbelievable. Ooh, a little flick off the net, yeah. But it was good, it was aggressive from the beast. Allowing to spin up and then counter off it. I think the longer the rally goes on, Dane wins the point. Mm. Uh, no, Beast needs to win oh. short game. Oh my God. Dane's hold, how's he doing that? He yeah. stands like a blooming postman. He's just ding. <laughs> yeah. Like a statue. Yeah, he's just there. That was a good one as well. Beast banged that straight at the body. And so I mean, both of their fundamentals are so good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, flip that again. See, see, like if the rally goes long, Beast needs, Beast needs to take his time and not just go yeah, 100 miles per yeah, hour yeah, because Dane will soak it up. Yeah. yeah. And he'll get used to it, right? We talked about the unpredictability. Yeah. We've got some love there from uh, Andy Beast all day long and Jesse coming in with a 3-0 to the Dane. Yeah. Oh. Split. Oh. 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 oh! I need to learn that one. Joe, we're training tomorrow morning. <laughs> My God, that was so clever. Final should be best of seven, yeah. Maybe next time. Oh, I like the story. idea. I mean, why don't we change it now? That's Just what we're all about, about, aren't yeah. we? Like Vince McMahon in the double double. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Oh my oh, word, we're talking through the best point. <gasps> oh! Oh! I thought he's going to regain it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought Beast was going to regain it. Yeah. He's oh, no. the double bluff. Did he mean that or did he just. Beast hit the biggest oh, donkey of the world. Sorry, I've just blown everyone's headphones. I thought he meant it. Everyone's going to Amazon tomorrow morning, headphones.com. Oh my word, sorry guys. I need a replay on that. Yeah. Oh, our updated TTD Team Knockout Live 2.0 will have replays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Roger, you hear that, yeah? Yeah, we'll get replays. Good man. Roger's putting a code of replay now. <laughs> we have some good ones from today. We're oh, yeah. To do a compilation. We're going to do a highlight package after yeah, this, right? Yeah, have to.
Let's see, look for the donkey. Oh, I had shot block almost. Oh, we tried the strawberry, misread it. Beast 4 a, a 4 Chairman went for a strawberry today. He did. I'm mm -hmm. for it. People... Oh, look at that hold, man. <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed. Oh, he's flicked the net as well and he's still got it. Oh, my Whoa. word. Beast was thinking about it, you can see. I told you, look, if the rally goes long, Dane is just so good when it's in the long rally. Yeah. He does absorb. We need to call him one sheet. <laughs> one sheet does plenty. <laughs> Just absorbs it. And then once you tee one out to wide forehand, he just counters again. Yeah, yeah. Beast just struggling to hold. Holding with. Look at that reverse. I'm not seeing Dane do a reverse surf all day, so he's trying to mix it up a little bit. B610, what can he do here? Oh, oh that's great. See, this is good. So he took it earlier there, picked the angle. I think that's the only way actually Beast can win this. Yeah. We will make a video with highlights for sure. There's been some brilliant points. Some, some hilarious moments as well, actually. We're going to get better play on that, actually, to help oh. cut through the points. Beast. There we go. Dane takes the first, 10-7. We're going to throw it down. We've got the editor down on there. Oh, no. We don't. We're actually going to stick with us. Wow, that's look fine. Look at these two. Look, you look great, Joe. Look at this. You've gone strong today, Joe. You know what I've noticed, though? Look at this piece of hair here. Yeah, it's all out. Well, but we ain't got a makeup artist just yeah, yet. It's fine. Got, yeah. you know. We can have enough money next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah. a makeup artist. What are we thinking then? Beast Let's... needs to possibly mix up the pace. He's going Yeah, yeah, no, he's just, he's just playing one dimensional, yeah, and Dane yeah, will yeah. just can get used to that. I, I mean, actually, Tom, Tom's good at holding, and mm -hmm. Beast actually mixed the spin against Tom quite a lot. And did you notice that? Yeah. The no. final set against Captain. He said it out yeah. loud. I, I, oh, that's clever. Like, he was slowing yeah, some of yeah, the yeah. to do definitely. And, and this is the thing sometimes when Beast is under a bit of pressure, like we see here, he's playing Dane and it's the final. Sometimes you don't think clearly. Yeah. And then when you're under that pressure, your brain's not thinking straight. You're not thinking to vary. You're not thinking to change tactics. Yeah. So let's see how he holds here in a second. Dane the sponge. That is right. Dane the wizard. Dane the sponge. Oh, oh that's just class. We've got a TTD team masterclass coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. We did the Dane this morning before this <laughs> shoot, and Dane was telling me some great tactics. Yeah. And he said to me, when I serve out wide to someone's forehand, I know when I've got the serve right, 100% it's coming back to my backhand. Yeah. That's why he did the turn there. Yeah, it's interesting. He said, the, the spin I get, I know the spin is so much, they can't get to my forehand. Wow. Yeah, I think for us to have a practice again, Joe. I'll definitely be buying that one. <laughs> cool, if I had half the Dane's game, I'd be delighted. I think we can all relate to you, Joe. On the chat. This is, you know what we're watching here? We're watching like the new generation, you know, like this this high level early table tennis yeah. from Beast and then feeling from Dane. Yeah, he is uh, the Dane's Michael Mays Mark II, isn't he? Just unbelievable feeling. Never happier than when he's off the back of the court, mm. which against everyone else you think is the best place to put them. Yeah. Oh, he's giving it the no look. <laughs> Flick and he's missed it, but I applaud. Big shout out there to Mega Boyd for uh, doing a donation, legend, and he's happy the channel's back. Yeah, so are we. I mean, we got hacked, obviously, uh, a few months ago, and it was hell. Um, but it's so good to be back, and actually, I'm buzzing. I was thinking today, like, watching this whole event, thinking, wow, how terrible I think it was a month ago. Yeah. And now, look at it. We're back, better than ever. So, yeah, thanks, everyone, for supporting, and uh, keep the movement. It's a big flick. I wonder if that... Uh Donation is for makeup artists. I think I think I think we're gonna need one for you, Joe. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. You know, Gaffer's got many roles. Gaffer might do it. Oh. Did oh. I told you? He knows, he knows yeah, by the spin. It's clever. It's really interesting. When I, when I do that type of serve, I'm blind turning, mm. right? Always blind pivoting. You've got to pivot on your back, haven't you? Do, yeah. But you know, like Amazing. he knows when it's coming to his back end. It's very clever. Oh, he did it again. Yeah, yeah. he's just he just knows. Yeah. You can tell by the spin. Yeah, the best thing you can do, I guess, is just get as good a receive out there as you possibly can and then go back to neutral because you don't know whether he's going to play up the line, cross court. Yep. That's good from Beast. There you go, Beast, starting to get on top. Yeah, he is. And then and he, he took it earlier and went to the body. Maybe that's another thing he needs to try and do mm. early in the point. Play well to Dane's body. And then he gets a weaker ball back and then he can play hard. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, it's good from Beast. Yeah. Slow it down there. Slow yeah, it yeah. down. I think that's right. I think if you go at Dane 100%, it, 
it no, becomes he, predictable and he mm. can soak it up and you, you end up then trying to play the next one at 105 which then causes the errors yeah actually the slower receives at least in control it's big oh, oh, oh that's actually went for it oh <laughs> <laughs> the umpire the frog impressed with that very close to touching Oh. You really get a sense of the power, how fast Louis hits once that camera swaps. <gasps> that big swing. Okay, right, let's throw it down. I think we got the chairman on camera to get a immediate reaction. Bit better from the It's one all, boys. Yeah, yeah. Big Very game. Good. Yeah, it's evenly Very good matched. Game. I think uh, he's been a bit more patient, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Beast has been a bit more patient with his shots. Yeah. He's not rushing it like in the last game. So, uh, yeah, he just needs to keep his forehand on. Get, get aggression, but keep the ball on. Don't go for Controlled like, aggression. Yeah, yeah. Controlled aggression, that's it. I think Beast is... I think he's going to up his game, Dane, but Beast <laughs> needs to keep it's putting pressure on him. It's going to be a good set on the reserve, yeah. Both going to stop messing about and start playing properly. It's going to be good. Yeah. Locked at one all. Everything that we said from the beast that he needed to do, he did. He's very clever. And, and I think that's part of, obviously, he's now training in Germany. He's getting older, so that mental game improves. But that, that he can take everything off the bounce and play at 100% and take everything early. The subtlety that he's starting to learn now as he starts to mix up. Some slow, some fast. It's becoming a beast. And see, what can the Dane do to change it? Can we use more of the camera angle from the side, please? That is interesting because some people really don't like that angle. I think I like it used uh, in very small measures. But it's good, it gives you a real, a, a, a real good view. You can see it there of, of how hard the ball's traveling. Obviously, you lose placement on the table, but you also see sort of how far back Dane is. Yeah, it's interesting. Dane struggling against players who hit the ball early. That's very, very adept. And we said it pre-match. Dane wants to be two steps off the table. And actually, when Louis is hitting well, man, he's such a beast. We're going to throw it back to the uh, guest commentary cam in a second because we've got a new commentator. Maybe we can throw it back now whilst there's a slight gap. Show who it is. Yeah. Maybe not. We're going to do it at the end of the next point. Oh, it's oh, got the big backhand. Who's here? Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> the crowd favourite, the pocket's here. What are we thinking about this final then? Louis adjusted, it's 1-1, one, one. it's very yeah, close. It's yeah. Um, Dane's uh, upped his game now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really, yeah. really strong. He's he messed a bit about yeah. he messed a bit in the, in the second set, but... He knows uh, Beast is really strong. Yeah, 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 for sure. Beast, when he's when he's in that flow state, when he's taking yeah. everything early, it's just so difficult. Dane almost looks like he's trying to take the impetus back again now. Oh, yeah. Can't yeah. In there you go with a That's strong it. attack. That's it. Yeah, it's fascinating. How difficult were the Dane serves when you played them? Very, very, very tricky yeah. to read. Yeah. That's the thing though. Um, this the Beast there has to really serve again, get to a bit more aggression in his uh, return there. It's a big point. Oh, oh my goodness me. The Dane's done so well there. <laughs> Two flicks of the net as well when Beast was playing. Unbelievable defense. Yeah. The Dane done. I mean, he's really, really good. He's got so much feeling. I don't know if he's banged his leg or something there, maybe. Possibly. He's just shaking it out. Beast with a smile on his face there. He knows he's a big point. What can you do though? I think the Dane did hit his bat off his leg by mm. the look of it. Let's just see. But yeah, you, you get him back, right? From anyone else from the table and you think it's a good place for him to be and all of a sudden oh, that's it that's it yeah he's really good away from the table yeah, yeah. yeah you're like attacking you're thinking yeah I've got this and then let's yeah, see just... I'm going to go and check the comments because I know there's going to be was the chairman bitten by a radioactive chair <laughs> 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 he moves like one. Oh, another big point here well done let's see some love there's going to be hello pocket I'm your fan for sure love from India <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here's an interesting. Why did Pocket change from Tenergy? Have you tried Dignix? Uh, well, I, I need to take a mortgage with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Timothy's rubbers ain't cheap, Yeah, it's not cheap, man. 
No, I just I just prefer my rubber I'm playing with now. It's yeah. a lot better, yeah. What is it that you're playing with? I'm playing with Donic uh, Blue Storm oh, Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really good rubber. I like oh, the bass. Yeah. Slight misread on the uh, receiver. Look, it went into a good place. I'll tell you what, bass is looking really strong. Yeah. yeah, it's looking strong. You can tell when. When the Dane is chewing, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that means that means he knows he's he's getting pushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've sure. never seen the, the Dane chew before. <laughs> oh, that's a great receive. Yeah, it's interesting. You know what? Um, Ringer got quite a lot of joy from actually serving long at the Dane. Yeah, because his because his short game is so mm. good on those touches yeah, yeah. and those receives. Actually, just bang long. Mm. And then it at least opens the rally up and yeah, then, yeah. then you're in a place. It'd be interesting to see if he starts to do that. Oh, it's the snake. Oh, no problem. You, you know the Dane, yeah, he's really strong on his back end side when mm -hmm. you receive it. Uh, I think um, Beast here has to be more aggressive, maybe go down the, go down the line a bit more on yes. his forehand side. Ah, yeah, 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 okay. Know, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's the feeling, especially he's being a left-hander, right? He can pin that wide forehand yeah. and use the angle to go back at the backhand. Mm. Yeah, even from serving here, right, you risk obviously the round the net, but... Oh. Oh. Mm. But at least you've made the day move his feet before then, and then he has to recover. Mm. Why is Pocket's backhand better than Kriangas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, big spin from the Dane. 11.70 takes it. He's just up the ante a little bit, hasn't he? Got a bit more aggressive. Interesting game, this. Um, yeah, yeah. What do you think uh, he should do a bit more? Maybe a bit more aggressive on the return, yeah? I feel like... Well, I tell you what. Let's go and chuck it over to the editor. He's down there. Let's go see who he's found. Get intense. Intense, but... What, what a game. What a game. Beast and Dane in the final. We knew it was going to be fireworks before we got here. And uh, yeah, here they are in the final and a legendary match. It's brilliant. 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one. yeah. Dane 2-1 up. But Beast is playing well. It just, it's just literally a case of subtle things here and there who gets a little bit of a lead and that confidence. But I think we're going to the fifth. Here we go. Fourth game then, Dane to serve. Yeah. yeah, I think you to answer the question we'll before we, we dropped over, I think Louis can uh, mix up the pace. Yeah. So he doesn't need to always go to the total, but yeah. also stop playing into that backhand count uh, that corner that, yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs to stop that. Somehow. Mm. If he's gonna return there, he has to be su super aggressive. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Or at least expect a step round. Mm. Yeah. See, this is good. Yeah. Once he gets his forehand in, that's, yeah, that's, he's, he's, <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called a beast. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh that my god! Just... Oh my god! The way he returned that, yeah. it's like he's, he's butchered, he's, right? Yeah, he's done the chairman backhand serve. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Possibly a few longer serves. This is a good serve. This, yeah, this is right. yeah. This is why he's got to do a bit more. Yeah, yeah. That very that serve. Because he's returning that serve really well when he can't, when his back spins. Mm. He's giving it to him, and it's short and it's got so much quality on it as well. So possibly adding a little bit more side spin, a little bit That's top, it. maybe, maybe That's even it. a float. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's clever. Oh, like he's oh, just on there. Goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> Serves difficult. Hello from Turkey. Yes. Hello. Good to have you on the stream. Sweden there as well. Dane looks so confident. He does. Feels like Pocket has the best backhand in the world. I love, One guy is saying uh, Butterfly Pocket ALC, man. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, look at this, the beast, 5 1 up. Yeah, that's it. We need we need a, we need yes. a fifth game, man. We need a fifth yeah. game. Oh, that's, the, that's what I mean about the serve, right? Oh, my God. You can force him away. Mm, that's okay. it. That's it yeah. You risk around the net, you risk something humiliating, but at least you made him take three steps before he's got that. Mm. Very clever. Fast serve uh, wide, yeah. game away from the table, and then get him to back away. Yeah. Mm. This is good That's stuff good from the beast. Finish, there. Yeah. Very strong. I find like the the beast when he's quiet is almost more focused. When he's chewing or when he's angry, yeah, it's almost like he just goes on autopilot and starts hitting, but he stops thinking. Yes. Yeah. There's a better serve receive. He didn't just drill it. Yeah, yeah. Two seven. See what we got in the comments. Hello from Sweden. Hello from Turkey. Hello from Russia. 
Hello from Macau. Hello from Slovakia. Hello from Texas. <laughs> See again, he's re he returned it to his forehand side. Yes. Yeah, I it's think that's the key. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. He's so strong on the on the yeah. backhand side, so he just needs to beast needs to return it wide as possible on the front. Oh, loaded that with spin. But that's what I mean. He didn't drill it. Mm. He has the ability to drill, but actually take a little bit off. Be a bit more unpredictable. Mm. Beast has the worst haircut in the TTD squad. It's hard to argue with that. But arguably, you know, <laughs> Chairman and Gaffer don't have any hair. <laughs> oh. Louis getting creative now. You can see Louis has got a smile on his face. He's feeling it. Yeah. Momentum's so funny in this game. Oh, it's a kick top. Oh. Sticking the ball so early. Yes. Good. So Both of those as well, right? Mm. Covered the way back in. Here we go, look. Oh. Ooh. 10-4. That's a borderline donkey. That is <laughs> pretty <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. That's it. Big show point. Oh, it's a chop. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. I gave it the no look. <laughs> <laughs> we applaud the oh. effort, though. We're going to chuck it over. The editor's on the floor. Let's get some reaction. So sick. So sick. Okay. To you, Miss Captain, no, no. you're absolutely loving watching this, aren't you? Loving it, man. Like, oh. Captain Great. just saying to me, he's just loving this table tennis. You know, it, it's... You, you can watch like the Olympic final, but this is like so fun and creative and yeah. just madness. It's like every rally's different, you know. It's so much, <laughs> it's just so much happening. You, you just don't know what, what to expect. Get. Yeah. I don't know what this guy's going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. No such clumps a, in this game, Chair. Ah, it's such a high level. <laughs> really is. I'm loving it. I'm We're in the fifth, guys. Someone, All the planning, trainings come up to this time. We, we might actually do a better seven for the final in the future of knockout. Could be an option. Someone said that in comments. Yeah, yeah, someone said that in comments. It actually makes sense. I was going to change it tonight to that right now, but I thought better not. Back to you boys for Let's the last go. set the of set. the time. Come, come. Look at this, guys. We we uh, complained that every game was 3 0. Mm. And then we got some five setters and we're going all the way yeah. in this one. What are you thinking? What's your gut say? I think I'm going with Beast, man. His uh, momentum is on his mm. side and he's doing really well, yeah. <laughs> I oh wow, that that's fantastic. <laughs> he got that horrible receive as well from Dane, that butchered so, yeah. short receive back. Beast is feeling it, he's covering forehand yeah. and backhand now. So yeah. Oh. Forehand bluff. It was. <laughs> Took it so late, didn't he? Ask the captain if it's cold. It's a bit of a mixture of both, but he has got the Christmas lurgy, unfortunately. He's got the he's got a He's got a flu. Yeah. Oh, Big spin. That's that gamble that we took. That we, we talked about though. Yeah. Dane likes to step that corner immediately. Yeah. That's it, yeah. That's the tactic, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that is it, my forehand. Is it? You should. I'd love you to be able to see the uh, the commentary cam now, because Pocket's got the biggest smile on his face because he knows <laughs> there's a weakness now. He knows he's going to be hunting for that next one. That's it, yeah. We've got we've got a comment. Rudra Sony. Oh my god, Pocket, I'm such a huge fan. Can I get a high? Oh my word, that was a big point as well. How you doing, man? This thing just slipped. Here we go. How you doing, mate? Good stuff. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we are we're all about the tactical analysis as well, aren't we? we yeah, yeah. This game is yeah, fantastic, man. It's really good final. Oh the kick along. It's absolutely butchered. The day misreads it, guys. Yeah, you got that from Paul Guerrero, didn't you? He did, yeah, yeah. he's done the masterclass. <laughs> Five two. 5-1, five, 1-5, one, one, five. Um, it's all on the Dane to turn this around now. Momentum is so funny, you should have seen the comments. All of it, Dane, Dane. Beast yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy yeah. favourite to win this, man. But It's not over yet, though. There you go. Again, so clever from Beast. He yeah. could have melted that, but mm. he didn't. Just take the pace off, and that means then the Dane has to do something with it. He can't just react on it. Mm -hmm. 6-2. So on point of right, here we go. Beast is momentum. Beast mode. This shows how good his serve is. Isn't oh, it? Yeah. I mean, if the Dane is struggling with his serves. Hmm. The Dane. The Dane needs something. Dane's body language is very negative. It's there for the Beast. Mm. I somewhat agree. I mean, but it's difficult because he's so loose. Mm. Great return. Oh. Oh, that's exactly what we said. Go out to wide forehand. That's it, wide forehand, man. That's it. That is the. Go. 
that is a tactic for for yeah, the beast there. on the floor yeah it just becomes difficult it becomes less predictable and then Beast is more well-rounded than we kind of give him credit for. See, this is where he's strong. If you receive yeah. it weak there, that's it. Just, just give him a point. <laughs> Pocket, what do you eat before a match? Is there anything in particular that you go on? I don't really eat, to be fair. Mm. I have it like a protein bar. Oh. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to keep light. Yeah, just a bit of energy and that's it, man. Nothing heavy. 9-4. This is the Beast. Oh, great return. <sighs> 10-4. Are we going to see something? I feel like... This is unbelievable. Between these honestly, two. Honestly, I I didn't think the Beast could actually... Uh, this is big. Yeah, yeah, this is massive. It's big. Are we going to see a stupid point? <gasps> the Beast takes it. He's the champion. He's done it. It's massive. We knew there was going to be a new champion. The Beast <laughs> has absolutely overcome all the... Everything in those comments was all day and all day. Look yeah. at the Beast. He's done it. <laughs> Let's throw it over. We got the editor. He's there. He's got the camera. Let's go and see what it looks like. Beast, TC, TCD Knockout Champion 2022. How yeah. do you feel? Feels amazing. Woohoo! Really. I'm hyped. All the training, mate. All led Finally up to this. Finally paid off. Come on. Yeah. Founders here. Got the trophy for you, Beast. So, we've got a new champion. The Beast is officially the 2022 wow. Knockout Champion. Yeah. Come on! Maybe in the world. The most it could be. Yeah, it's pressure, isn't yeah. it? Some people would prefer to win TTD knockout than the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> we'll the Olympics for real. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's already on there. Alright, well, thanks to everyone that tuned in and watched. Hope you had a great time and uh, yeah, it was epic. Guys, thanks for all coming as well. Yeah, massive round of applause for us. <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. That's one point. Yes, guys. Wow. Well done.